Read Lily's voice. Lil's voice and have okay, we'll do that. The voice of them is pretty good. I'm excited. Okay, so we'll have the NPCs do theirs and we'll read Lil's. Okay. So I like that. I like that. Um Alright. The music is pretty cute. Yeah, the eyes do work really hard. Unlikeliest of heroes, a small child unwillingly thrust into the workforce. One disaster after another had been diverted due to her diligent and cunning decision. Hi, Isaiah, welcome in. With the kingdom on the verge of knowing everlasting peace and prosperity, our hero could finally rest their weary head, but only after one more critical decision was to be made. A decision of great weight. A decision of immense importance. A decision that could possibly kill hundreds, even thousands of people. No pressure. Oh my god, you've made the wrong choice. Yeah. <laughs> you didn't think things through. You've doomed us all. Everything's on fire now. We're all covered in fire. How could you have done this to us? Oh. Lil. Lil. What? Oh, Dad, I was having a nightmare. It's over now, sweetie. But since you're awake, I think it's time you and I had the talk. Out of one nightmare and into another. Sweetie, there comes a time in every young person's life. Dad. You don't have to do this. When they have to work their dad's shift at the guard shed while he places a bet on the goblin ball match down at the pub. <laughs> Aw, dad, do I have to? Today was the day I was going to start off on a grand adventure with my friends. I want to sail the open sea. I want to fight ogres. I, I want to throw rocks at things. You think I didn't want to throw rocks at things when I was your age? But I had a duty. I had a responsibility. I had to work at the guard shed while my dad placed a bet at the goblin ball match down at the pub. I want to throw rocks at things too. Did he ever win anything? Do you think we'd be stuck here if he did? But I'm 12. Won't we get in trouble? Not if we don't get caught. Yeah. <laughs> Come on. I'll show you how to handle anything that comes up. Hi, low offspring. You're going to take my shift to job while I go play some bets. This is some great teaching for children. This is... Just don't get caught. Bad choices up the get-go. Okie dokie. Ready for me to very quickly show you how everything works? All right, let's put myself over here. I think that's better. Oh. Oh, good. Everyone loves a tutorial. No time for a full rundown, so I'll sum it up like this. The key thing to remember when being a castle guardsman is... Dad, someone's coming. What do we do? Uh, okay. I guess the best way to learn is by doing. Let's just hope there's someone completely plain and boring. Ah, good morning, Mrs. Abernathy. How's your day today? It's a sweet old lady. Lock her up! Plain and boring, as always. Bingo. Would you mind if Lil looks after you? Oh, not at all. It's always a pleasure to see your daughter, Shamish. Shamish. It's Hamish. <laughs> what is? Never mind. Now, Lil, when a visitor approaches the guard shed, they'll generally start by stating the Jail. <laughs> like to state my business. I bring a basket of baked goods to my son and his family once a week. Oh, would you like one? Lil puts it in her inventory. One suspicious After they take baked the business, good. It's pretty much your call what to do next. You can select them and interrogate them. There's tools, the phone there on the wall. You only get three action points. You get it, right? Oh, okay, what? Not really. What do we need tools for? You can pick one and it does something. Come on, Lil. I've really got to speed this along. The Goblin Ball game is about to start. 
Oh, sorry, I'm inconveniencing you. Oh, no, not at all, dear. I don't mind helping out. But the princess is really gigging the ceremonial for a slingshot. <gasps> she is? Sweet jumping jitters, we gotta get to that game. Let's wrap this up, dear. Seamus, tell the girl what to do. <laughs> the name is Hamish. No, it's Mrs. Abernathy. Select any highlighted element to learn about it. Okay, so we have this thing on the wall here, something behind our dad's head, the phone, this, and this. So let's let's look at the board. The Royal Whit. This is the Royal Whit. The first thing you do when you start your shift is take a look. If the Castle Guard Corps can achieve a good star rating this month, there'll be a pizza party at the barracks. Strict one slice limit per guardsman. In the desk of Councilwoman Ash. There will be a demonstration in the city square this evening held by the members of the Mages Guild. If any of the speakers come through your gate, please call my office to initiate their escort and secondary screening. There will be a demonstration in the city square this evening held by members of the Mages Guild. If any of the speakers come through the gate, please call my office and initiate the escort. Congratulations to Guardsman Randy on 35 years of the post. Yay, Randy. After six months undercover operation at the Sprawl Cavern for the elderly, a group of sweet Grammys and Grampies were discovered to be trafficking illegal drugs into and out of the city. While not every old person is to be treated as a drug mule, please be vigilant when dealing with somebody's grandparents. Jail. Depressed Joker seeks person with funny name. If you call and pique my interest, there's a cash bonus in it for you. Sweet Grammy and Grampies were discovered to be trafficking illegal drugs into and out of the city. Well, that's oddly specific. <laughs> you can select the Royal at any time and it won't cost you any action points. Cool. Okay, so this is just kind of an idea of what to look forward to for that day. Got it. The pizza probably has pineapple on it. Okay. This is the... Our tools. Ooh. If you want to tool use shed. a tool, you have to make sure it has a crystal to charge it. Here, I'll show you. I'll add today's crystals to the tools that don't have any. That way, I have a well-rounded arsenal. Okay, so if I use it, the crystal's used. Why do the other tools already have crystals in them? I carried them over from previous days. Gotcha. Any other questions? Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Why does a bullwhip need to be powered by crystals? <laughs> no more questions. <laughs> bullwhip, metal detector, decoder ring, truth spray, X-ray. Decoder ring, metal detector, a bullwhip. Okay, we'll just check that out later. This is the phone. Feeling stuck? This phone is for calling the royal advisors and asking for their help, but all they'll really give you is their opinion. Okay. You can get a hold of Lieutenant Stryker, Captain of the Guards, and technically our boss. Hello, who's there? Who? Click. <laughs> Or First Councilwoman Ash, the head bureaucrat of the Sprawl, with a real mind for politics. This is Councilwoman Ash. Hello? Hello? Is somebody there? Click. And finally, the Royal Jester Malcolm, chaos personified in human form. Okay. Hello, you've reached Malcolm. Please leave a message after the goose honk. Hey, where'd the goose go? Well, chase after it, for goodness sake! Each card costs an action point. Okay. So we can call, okay, cool, cool, cool. And then this is... You use the Wicked 3000 to make the big decision to let someone in or send them packing. Okay. Choosing this will end the tutorial. Can I finally get out of here? Um, wait, there's more. <clears throat> this. Didn't we cover this? Look, that's your inventory bag where you keep the things people give you or that you confiscate from them. In other words, your sweet, sweet loot. Okay, Looking cool. in your bag for something to use doesn't cost you an action point. Cool. <clears throat> okay. I already told you, selecting the person means you interrogate them and hear more of their story. It's the best way to find out someone's true intentions. Sometimes. Okay. Sometimes? Sometimes using a tool will do the job better. Or the phone, or it's a combination of things. I don't know, you can spend all three action points just interrogating them for all I care. Gotcha, because so clicking on them is more, more action points. Cool, 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 cool. Hi, Court. How are you? Welcome in, Corvus. I did something to embarrass myself online again. I'm, I'm sorry. You get to keep Grandma's drugs, maybe? Let's keep Grandma's drugs! You use the Wicked 3... Okay. Now, you can choose to use the Wicked 3000 at any point during a turn. 
but sometimes it's better to use up all three action points to find out everything you can by any means necessary. Okay. Sometimes? Yeah. And sometimes people are in a really big hurry, like I am right now. So just pick a damn lever already. Uh, select and hold to make your decision. Deny. Why is this one broken? Admit. I don't trust her. But can I get out of this? It won't let me leave. Okay. Deny. Sorry, I don't have time to hear Mrs. Abernathy plead her case again today. We're just going to let her in. Dang it! Now, he's letting in a drug trafficker. You saw this! We said no! Hmm. Great job, Lil. Your mother would be so proud to see you now. After my delivery, I'm off to watch Jeez, the big Dad. game. Dad. Got my grandson's inheritance riding on a tip that the Stapleford Snughorns are gonna win it today. My grandson's inheritance. Here's a tip. Never lend Mrs. Abernathy money to bet with. Let's hurry along to the game. We don't want to be late, do we, Hamish? My name is Shamish. No, wait, it's not. Oh, I better go. Time to put on your big kid pants. You can do this. All right, let's do it. She's a bookie and a drug dealer. More like I'm being forced to do this. It's only for today, I swear. Come meet me in the tavern when the shift is over. Good luck. Good luck with your illegal gambling. I don't need luck. Famous last words, true. Okay, Lil, you got this. All snugly in bed now? Nice. I hope you enjoy your sleeps. Or however long you choose to stay up. I'm normally in bed at like a time and then I like up for the next three hours. So, there we go. Uh, you nailed that tutorial. Good job. Sus. Okay, so this is the same role I'm assuming. If the Castle Guard Corps can achieve a good scar rating this month, there will be a pizza party. From the desk of Councilwoman Ash, there will be a demonstration in the city square this evening held by members of the Mages Guild. So if you see anyone from the Mages Guild, call the office, talk to Councilwoman Ash, and then act, uh, act, uh, initiate their escort. Um, Randy's the guardsman who was here for 35 years, and then we uh, interrogate Grammys and Grampies. Depressed Joker seeks a person with a funny name. If you call and pick my interest, there's a cash bonus in for you. So if we find someone with a funny name, call Malcolm. Got it. I liked him to bed early. Getting in bed early? Yeah, I, I, I get that. Charmed to make your acquaintance, young Gateminder. I am Tyronius Athanatos, son of Brielle and Darunia Athanatos. I have been summoned to deliver the keynote speech at the Festival of Magical Freedom tonight, hosted by the Mages Guild. Mages Guild? Will you require anything further? Hmm... Talk to Councilwoman Ash. I'm so glad you called. Frankly, I was worried you guardsmen never followed the writ due to illiteracy. Rude. Understandable. Rude. Admit the mage and my people will escort him to the venue. Hang on. I want to make sure you are clear, Mr. Man. Mm-hmm. Oh. What is this? What is this? What you got there? Ha <laughs> ha, clever girl. These are just a few select works. Wow. Hi, Leslie. Hi, Leslie. Thank Things you. Things to sign and give to my many adoring fans tonight. Thank you for the 300 biddies. Okay, okay. Some books from the family library. Very well spotted. Perhaps there is hope for you yet. Would you like one? A book? Sure. Hmm. Here. Yes, this one should open your eyes. Oh. Baby book. Proper etiquette when dealing with superior beings. Great. Thanks. You're welcome. I wrote it. Hmm.
I want to use the bull whip. <laughs> I want to use the whip now. <laughs> What's your speech about? Oh, my dear child. It is obvious to me that you do not possess a magical bone in your body, and my speech, therefore, would only serve to confuse... Don't use the whip. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just thinking out loud. Just thinking out loud. Jeez. The only confused, the only one confused is you about how frightened you are of me. S stupid. <laughs> Man, I really need to work on my teasing. Huh. I admire your bravery. But you That'll teach him. <laughs> I'm pro whip. <laughs> uh, no, this is our first person. That would be horrible. Okay, we'll let him through. I just wanted to see what more would happen because we have three actions. We might as well use them all. I'll teach you proper etiquette. <laughs> the House of Thanatos and indeed Drop the House Major's okay. Guild. Thank you, young guardian. You will go far. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. The third level was Jarl. Oh. Tyronius Athanatos, character score. You read the writs and follow the orders. Good little guardsman. <laughs> Tanks. Good afternoon. Hello. I am here to pick up my two kids from their no good, stingy, low life of a father mm. who happens to be my lying, cheating, low life of an ex husband, Orlando. Heck, Orlando. Unless it's Orlando Bloom, then we heck you. His address is there on this incomprehensible, illegible letter my kids sent me. Boo, Orlando. What the poop? Believe me, I would love to have him get off his sorry butt and bring them to me for once. Okay. Oh, I should have also called Tyronius Thantos is kind of funny. Um, oh, I can't use the x-ray machine at the end. Hmm... <laughs> Interview again. It was his week with them. No, I'm sorry. It was his and his new girlfriend Callie's week with them. <gasps> no. And do you want to know what the kids say about her? What? They say she's fun. <gasps> no. I'm sure the letter they wrote is all about her. Can't decode it to save my life, though. My kids write so lousy. Decoder. Hmm. That letter was pretty much illegible. Horrible, horrible penmanship. Okay, we're gonna decode it. Because I'm a little slow at this, but we're gonna use a decoder ring. You take a closer look at Denise's letter. What do we see here? Doing a little bit of this, a little bit, a little bit of this. Hmm. I don't know how to tell you this, but there's more to this letter than meets the eye. There's a hidden message written here. It says... Come soon, mommy. Kelly is nightmare. Does that make sense to you? Oh my god. My boys don't know how to spell. But also that thing about Kelly being the worst. Oh. Um. Well. We'll talk to you I one more time. I never should have introduced them to each other. Kelly was my hairdresser. Oh <gasps> no. Was is the key word. Yeah, it looks like it. You Can could I probably use another now? one. Um, okay. People come and go, but no matter what, you'll always be these You're kids' right. mothers. I will be, no matter who that low-life jerk ex-husband Orlando dates. Mother heckin' birch tree shrimp toaster. We let you in. Betrayed by the hairdresser. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Go get him. Thanks. Don't worry, Polyphemus, Orlando Jr. Mama's coming for you. <laughs> Polyphemus. You didn't judge a book by its cover, and you knew not to stand in the way of a mama bear and her cubs. Darn tootin'. In the bloody blazing blasted hell is the holdup. 
Why have we stopped, Well, Well, sir, the guard... Silence! Speak when spoken to, or you'll get the whip, Welp. Yes, sir. Now, you, child, let me pass. I have important business to attend to. Come on, shake a leg. B.S. waits for no man. B.S.? Bank of the sprawl. Oh. Show him who gets the whip. Now get out the whip. <laughs> well, that's unfortunate. Hang on, I just want to, I need to talk, get some context. Okay, so I can only talk to him. Good, because I was, I was worried that if I brought the whip out, it would accidentally hit. Oh, goblin dude. What kind of business do you have at the bank today, sir? I shan't be airing the details of my BS appointment with some nosy little brat tending the gate. Mind your business or you'll get the whip, child. You shouldn't threaten to whip people. Actually, that reminds Lil of her toolkit. Tease. Oh yes, we mustn't keep you from your ever so important meeting. BS is right. Alright. Here we go. I got just the thing. Uh, I'm sorry, sir. I was just slouching only for a second. I'll make sure that none of the blood gold falls out of its case. You nincompoop. It wasn't me using the whip. If it was, believe me, you'd feel it. <laughs> whip him like he's cream. <laughs> Did he say blood gold? Isn't that illegal? He didn't say blood gold. He said bloody gold. It's a form of slang. He must have picked up. I feel somewhere. like I'm getting gaslit. Right, you bloody idiot. Yes, sir. W whatever you say, sir. I'd like to take a look at this gold bars. Confiscate. I think I need to hold on to these. Your choice will have an effect on the sprawl. Why, you greedy little urchin. I think I like you more than ever. No, it's not like that. Oh, of course. Just remember, if you make any form of profit off of those, you're as much to blame as I am. Ooh. Now, since you are finished rifling through my personal belongings, you insufferable petty little monster, let me pass. What was your name again? Call Striker. Blood gold. We've been on the lookout for mules bringing it into the sprawl for years now. Oh? Deny this man immediately. Well spotted, guardsman. You are a credit to the force. Yes, ma'am. Um, sorry. Hot lady said no. Oh sevens in chat. We did it. We did it, guys. It's the goblin's <laughs> fault, isn't it? Nasty, deceptive creatures. What about this? Let me through the gate, but I shall leave the goblin tied up outside like the cur he is. <laughs> but sir, the gold! Silence! All right, you rotten little girl, I'll go. But you will rue the day you crossed me. <laughs> This game is actually very well done. I'm, I'm kind of happy with this. You foiled a blood gold trafficker on your first damn day? Legend. Grumpkin T. Dankworth. Dang it, I should have called Malcolm. That's a good name. He's one of the was absolutely amazing today. Quincy. Oh, I love that Eternal. That's great. Hello? 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 Good afternoon. This is Dr. Marquess, Beatrix Von Matterhorn calling. Who may I ask am I speaking to? Um, this is Lil. Nice to meet you, Lil. I need one of you gate guards to come down to the dig site as soon as you can. Okay, and where exactly is? Oh, no, this is Patrick. <laughs> she hung up. <laughs> Hi, Jupe, welcome in. Why, hello there. I have come to the sprawl to participate in capitalism. I just, first thing I thought, I'm from the IRS, Pfft, no. After years on the road as a traveling merchant, I'm finally ready to put down roots. 
And what better place than the sprawling metropolis of the sprawl? Huh? Huh, <laughs> I just got that. Garby Bunches is the name. Garby Bunches. Garby Bunches. Funny name. That's got to be made up. I'm going to have to see some documentation. Can't fault you for doing your due diligence. Here's my vendor's license issued by the Sprawl Board of Trade. Hmm. Do we confiscate this or return it? He's right. Everything's in order. Malcolm. Garby Bunches. Where have I heard that name before? Wait a minute. Ask him if he's descended from Garbanzo the Terrible. Are you related to Garbanzo the Terrible? Yep. My great, 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 great grandpappy Garbanzo. OMG, tell him I'm a huge fan. I've got so many questions. Like, why did he use an ice cream scoop? How did he dispose of all that mess? Ew. This isn't helpful. You're not helpful. Okay. I just can't wait to get in the mix and figure out what kind of merchant this place really needs. Since I was a boy selling lemonade, when life literally gave me lemons, I've dreamed of maximizing profits and keeping overhead low. Mm. Seems like a weird dream for a kid to have. You couldn't possibly understand, little girl, with your cushy government job. Wait, should you be in school or off <laughs> planet or something? Don't ask. See, you get it. Once I've set up shops selling, well, whatever I decide to sell, I'll be sure to give you a discount. Entrepreneurs. I look forward to buying something. All right. I think this is our last person for the day, so we will... Truth spray. Nice try, kid. As a merchant on the road, I spent the last few years building up a tolerance to the active ingredient in Truth Spray. <laughs> well, that's unexpected. You know what they say. Never go in against the Sicilian when death is on the <laughs> line. <laughs> okay. Inconceivable. Okay, you get a pass for that. You get a pass for that. I I don't care. You can go in. Go go ahead. Go go. Go 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 go. You get a pass. Darn it. <laughs> can you smell that? Oh gosh. The trash barge? Yeah, I came through the on the weekends. Smell only lingers for a couple of days. Not the reek of filth and decay. <laughs> Enjoy our capitalism. That's the reek of opportunity. <laughs> See you around. <laughs> Garby Bunches, who would have known that a funny name like would lead to connecting Jester Malcolm to one of his historical heroes. Good job. Cool. Bell rings in the distance. No more, folks. Time to close up shop. Day one done. Aw, oh, dang it. Due to your exceptional performance, 3.8, you were paid 30 gold for this shift. Nice. Hi, Yak. Welcome in. Good to see you. Tad better be proud of us. We're bringing in all the money that he's going to lose on Goblin Ball. Oh, what do I do now? The dig site? Oh. Ooh. That's kind of cool. It's a, it's a tapestry. I like that. Hello. This reminds me. <laughs> it makes me so happy that so when you have that like ready to go. I need that I'm more ready to go. Okay, this reminds me of like those old um old uh CD-ROM games, you know? Hello. Like putt putt oh or something. Were you left behind? The last group of school children departed hours ago. Feel free to wait in the lost and found box until someone comes to collect you. 
the lost and found box. I feel like that would then like zoom over. If this was like a cartoon, it would zoom over to a child just sitting there. I've been here for four days. <laughs> or something. It was something very despicable me. We are not trash lady. <laughs> no, you called me. I I'm Lil. We spoke on the phone. I was covering for my dad at the South Gate. Uh, of course, Lil, yes. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> but no, this is highly irregular. But then again, you'll have to do for the sake of time. Ha! Huh, sake of time. <laughs> do you get it? No. <laughs> Trust me, you will. Who are you? Who are you again? Dr. Marques Beatrix von Matterhorn, Marques. Head of Archaeological Research at the Royal Academy. The kid in the pool jail? Yes, yes! <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Phasmorg Blue, or Pleomorphic Blue. Welcome and good to see you. Head of Archaeological Research at the Royal Academy. But you can call me B. Hi, B. Gotcha. What's so great about this place? Would you like the long or short version? Give me the long one. Hit me with the, some of that sweet exposition, baby. This place is known as the Dig Site. How creative. We stand at the site upon which power crystals were first discovered. How, where's this kid's mom? That's the real question. It's been Disneyfied, so one of them always has to be dead. The power crystals that are used for the tools in the guard shed? Those and every other technological marvel of our lifetimes. Batteries. Tell me more. The power crystal was discovered completely by accident. 80 years ago, on this site, an iconic dwarven heavy metal band performed yeah, the old point to celebrate clicks. the coronation of Princess Desdemona's grandfather, King Artemis. By accident, 80 years ago, on the site, iconic dwarven heavy metal band performed to celebrate the coronation of Princess Desdemona's King Artemis. <laughs> a dwarven heavy metal band. I love that. Oh, I am a dwarf and I'm digging a hole. Solo, the vibrations opened up a chasm swallowing the entire stage and the musicians and a few dozen enthusiastic fans. Diggy diggy hole. Diggy Legend diggy says hole. the band emerged from the chasm adorned in the glowing magical rocks, or what we know as power crystals today. Diggy diggy hole. It must have looked awesome. Very awesome, but there's more. Whether by fate or the actions of an inebriated mage, the bass player was struck by a lightning bolt, and the crystals in her cape and beard absorbed the electric discharge. Ooh. Everything that previously relied on magic within a five mile radius lit up and was charged for weeks. Oh. <gasps> hardcore. Very hardcore. A massive industry sprung up and developed the multitudes of ways we use power crystals which ushered in an unprecedented era of prosperity for the sprawl, making our city-state the world power it is today. Nice, nice, nice. Gotcha. But what does this have to do with me? I am the preeminent expert in the advanced properties of power crystals, and my research suggests we have barely scratched the surface of what these puppies can do. Okay. But again, what does this have to do with me? Lil, I have found how to harness the crystal's power to alter the very fabric of time. May I present the Chronometer 3000? The Chronometer. And what I need to know from you is, do you know anyone who would be willing to go on what some might call an adventure? Ooh. Me! Push the button. That's pretty much yes. Push the button. Hello, Succubus. Thank you for the two months. Oh. Well, we touched it. She wants to use you in a dangerous experiment. I'm there. Oh, wait. Does this reset the day? Where am I? What just happened? The phone. The phone is ringing. Freak out. I was just at the dick site now. Now I'm back here somehow. Quick. Pants check. No. Pee at, no pee at least. Great. Okay. Pick up the phone. Good afternoon. This is Dr. Marquess Beatrix von Matterhorn <sighs> calling. Who may I ask am I speaking? This is deja vu. Check this out. You were about to tell me you needed a gate guard to come down to the dig site, right? My word! You gate guards are intuitive. I hope they're paying you a more than fair wage. They probably aren't. The way my dad complains about. She hung up. Again. 
Does this reset the day? It does reset the day. So it's like, obviously, but... Why, hello there. I've come to the sprawl to participate in capitalism. After years on the road as a... Let me stop you there. Your name is Grab Gra Grabby Blanchers, right? You're a traveling merchant or something. Oh, I see my reputation precedes me. Kind of. The name is Garby Bunches. This is so weird. I swear I already dealt with this guy. I can either do the same thing as I did last time, or maybe this is a chance to try something different. I'm sorry. Are you talking to me? That's what I'm trying to decide, Garbs. Regardless, here's my vendor license issued by the Sprawl Board of Trade for confirmation. Okay. Sure. He's right. Everything's in order. Okay, so this if we do something that we want to try again, we can... Um... Okay, so I want to... So you admit you. I swear I've done this already. I remember pulling the lever. Can you smell that? I think you said something about opportunity? You got it. See you around. Okay. But it wasn't in the same order we did it before, so, like, Malcolm's not going to meet them, and it's going to be like... Okay, back to the dig site. Okay, well, hopefully that doesn't change too much. We'll see. We'll see. So, like, Chris Farley, I feel like a lot of things in this game are gonna... Um, if he was, if he would have said down by the river, I would have freaked out. But yes, I can see it. But I feel like there's gonna be a lot of, like, references in this game. It is, it's very, it's very much fantasy papers, please. It's, like, fantasy papers, please. Ammonia, hydrogen, iodine, all pretty basic stuff. Machines like this are relatively new discovery in Sprawl. Lil notices the words Commander Keen among the inscrutable technical jargon. You see a small cot and a pile of clothes for the gap. Dr. B must sleep here. The hole is so deep it can't see the bottom. They must have a really good ladder guy. Oh, Lil, from the phone call earlier, of course. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, but no, this is highly irregular. But then again, you'll have to do for the sake of time. Huh, sake of time. Do you get it? I already told you no, but oh wait, I actually do. My name is Dr. Marquez Beatrix Bond Matterhorn, Matterhorn head, head of, of archaeological... Well, uh, Mological research at the Royal St Royalty School for Smart People. You said I could call you Trixie, but I've, we've been through this before. I'd prefer if you called me B. <laughs> call you Trixie. And this is the site where power crystals were first discovered and used to make them my time and used to make a time machine. And you baited me with promise of adventure and pretty much forced me to push the big shiny button and you see the little time machine. And now I'm pretty sure I've just been sent back through time and I'm kind of freaking out here. Any questions? Magic mushrooms. Wait, why am I asking you questions? <laughs> For any of this to be possible, it would require the use of my newly crafted device. I love her little hair bounce. present the Chronometer 3000. Wait, where did it go? Did you mean this? My invention! How did you get that? You gave it to me. Well, not really, but you were going to give it to me, I think. We were in the middle of explaining. And you were seduced by the glowing red button. Yeah. Can you blame me? Yes, but it is a good button. I'm just <laughs> proud of myself that your particles weren't immediately dispersed to the furthest reaches of space and time. Oh. <laughs> that risk becomes much lower once I configure it to your individual life source, which I will do now. <laughs> I think the castle gate is a perfect place to test my prototype, and I need a willing gate guard to use the device. I'm a willing gate guard. And allow me to track their progress to make sure only the right people are permitted entry to the sprawl. Do you have any questions? Right people? Individuals or groups that would improve the daily life of the inhabitants of the sprawl, rather than those who would see harm come to the community and castle. Good guys and bad guys. Isn't that subjective? <laughs> yes, well, I suppose it is. But recently the kingdom has seen a rise in rebellious factions, envious neighboring nations, not to mention the resentful mages guild since the power crystal has replaced most household magical applications. <gasps> yes, hello. 
Don't be a willy gay card. I'm a willing gay card. How are you, Jess? Welcome in. How was Pal World? How was your first partnered stream? Congratulations. So freaking proud of you. I hope you're doing well. I hope you're having a good year so far. Hello, hello. Welcome in, Raiders. Good to see you. My name is Quincy Love from Quincy's Tavern. We're playing Lil Guardsman. Basically, which is Judge Thy Neighbor the Game. <laughs> Where we let good people in the castle and bad people get kicked out. But this is all very subjective. And it's really cute. It's really, really cute. We're playing a little character named Lil, 12 years old, who's taking over a dad shift at the Gate Castle Guard. And it's like Papers, Please. If you've ever played that game, it's like Papers, Please, but fantasy and fun. So, But welcome in, Raiders. Good to see you. Thank you for popping on in. I appreciate it. One wrong choice could trigger a domino effect that could lead to the fall of the sprawl. Uh-oh. Why not use it yourself? So to recap, you're giving me a 12-year-old who worked exactly one day at the castle gate the power to rewind time. Why not just use it yourself? I have been testing the device myself for months. In fact, I used it to repeat a month's worth of the same day and learn to play the oboe. Can I show you? For all the love of all that is holy, no. No. Oh god, no. <laughs> I want to see her play the oboe. What the heck? Developers, give me an option to hear the oboe. Oh, well, perhaps another time. <sighs> my calculations suggest that no changes I could make from my post at the Royal Academy would have nearly the impact on the sprawl that you gate guards do. Okay. Academia, am I right? <laughs> So I came to the conclusion that trying it out at the gate is a calculated risk worth taking. Uh-huh. I think I get the idea, Dr. B. I'm ready to go out in the world and use this device properly and definitely not to win the lottery or to repeatedly watch people trip and fall over and over again. You'd want that? <laughs> trip and fall. Lottery. Trip and fall. I have a feeling you're not using your science experiments to their full potential. Regardless, you'll find you can't use it whenever or wherever you want. It is now calibrated, so it will only allow you to fold space and time when you are inside the guard shed. Okay. Ugh, rats. Furthermore, by default, the device will automatically allow you to travel back to the start of your guard shift, including your loadout. Okay. However, I've hacked it a bit so that you can jump back to a specific <laughs> Almost point DLC. Turn. Hack is the key word, though. You can jump back to a specific point in the turn, okay. I have to leave now. There is more science to be done. I will summon you soon, and we will see what else you might be ready for. Ooh. Thank you, Lil. The world thanks you. No pressure. You can do this. Just try not to break space and time. Let's go, Grim Gaming. <laughs> uh -huh. I'm not kidding. Uh huh. Maybe I should have mentioned that I was only working the gate for one day. Oh well. It's getting pretty late. I should head home. Okay, so this story just got pretty interesting. Anytime you put time travel in it, it seems pretty good. The tavern. Oh, is that our home? We live in the tavern. How appropriate. Went back to deep clean the carpet. I love that. That's awesome. Look at these people. They got all the tattoos and everything. Oh my gosh. I love this place. Twisted Sisters Tavern. I am never leaving this place. Your dad's over there. I love this place. They look like they would throw people out. Legend has it. This is a neon sign. It was made by a company that makes custom neon signs. That's where they keep the good stuff. Arda will only open a bottle for people she knows will pay their tab. You remember this working when you were little. Pretty great collections of tunes. Your dad always says if you ever save enough money, you could chip in to get her fixed. Oh? This ain't the nicest place in town, but there's always a warm fire going. Hey, hey, there she is, my hard-working angel face, sweetest of the sweetest daughter of mine. You didn't win your gambling, did you? No, but it wasn't my fault. The other team was just too good. But I didn't lose all my money. We still have left what I didn't bet, so... <laughs> That'll be 15 gold for the ale. And now we don't have any left. <sighs> hey, Lil, did you take any bribes or pickpocket anyone today? 
<laughs> Give him Hamish's gold bars. Here you go. What's the worst that could happen? I got this off an old mean type of guy. He had an assistant that he just kept walloping and walloping. I don't think he likes his work. This is perfect. Arda, around for everybody. I'll be right back after I call my guy. Oh my gosh. Again, Wait, you'll never believe what happened. Right at the end of my shift, I got this phone call, okay? Asked me to come down to the dig site. Did you remember to lock up the shed? What? Yes. And turn off the light? Y yes, I did. Whatever. Just listen. You gotta make sure to turn off the light, Lil. They'll charge us for the overnight usage. I remember to turn off the light. I think. Anyways, Dad, I met this professor at the dig site, and she had this time machine, and when I touched the time machine, I went back in time. Then she gave me the time machine to use when I work for the guard shed for you, but it only works at the guard shed, so I was kind of a bummer, but it's really super cool, and it only works for me. That's great, sweetie. I'm glad you liked covering for me today. But you don't have to make up stories just so you can work another shift. Wait, no, that's not what's happening. Anytime you want to be just like Daddy and work <laughs> down at the guard shed, all you need to do is ask. Dad, you're n not fully comprehending what I'm trying to tell you. Hey, Arda, did you hear? Lil's making up cute stories so she can be more like her old man. I'm getting gaslit everywhere. Oh, that's so sweet. I have the power to manipulate time and I demand to be taken seriously. Okay, okay, I understand. I can see that you're serious. <laughs> seriously adorable. <laughs> But honestly, Lil, you can cover for me anytime you like. You're probably doing a better job than me anyways. This is how- this isn't how I expected it to go. Speaking of that, I better call my guy and make a bet on the next game. I'm next never game giving him money late. again. You better get upstairs to bed, Missy. Good night, Lil. Why would you choose to give your dad more betting money? Vengeful Lil. You'll rue the day you didn't believe in my powers of space and time. You'll see. You'll all see. All we can see is how cute you are, sweets. Oh, is this a, is this the origin, like, a villain arc? <laughs> as cute as her mother. <laughs> Whatever. Good night, Dad. Good luck with your gambling. I don't need luck. Oh, bet it is. Huh. Whew, I'm pooped. That's enough events for one day. I'm ready to hit the sack. Hi, Tower. This is such a cute little game. I love it. Rubber City Tattoo Invitational 2024. Join us for the Rubber City Tattoo... Uh, July 26th to the 28th. Akron's JS Night Center over the 200 artists, family-friendly tattoo event, live music, bike show, pin-up contest, several tattoo contests, the biggest event in Akron. That sounds cool, Prime. I'll have to check that one out. I'll have to check that. That sounds fun. I started my villain arc era at 12-2. <laughs> Mrs. Abernathy. In her own way to the bar, Mrs. Abernathy accidentally walked into two more tutorials, causing her to be late to make a bet on the big goblin ball game. Her grandson's inheritance is safe. For now. Tyronius Athanatos gave his keynote speech at the Festival of Magical Freedoms and inspired most in the crowd. The divide between magical and non-magical beings grew a little more that night. He is indebted to Councilwoman Ash for her influence in facilitating his smooth admittance to the sprawl. Hmm. Denise the Cyclops. After Denise picked up her kids, she moved them safely out of view, but not earshot, and gave Kelly a piece of her mind. Polyphemus and Orlando Jr. learned a handful of new words that day, but some they already knew. Grumpkin T. Dankworth. Due to your cunning confiscation and denying the old coot, Grumpkin, Grumpkin T. Dankworth was unable to make his sizable deposit of illegal blood gold to BS, Bank of the Sprawl. Unfortunately, it happened on the same day of an unprecedented volume of cash withdrawals. This caused the bank to run and close early. People panicked. They burned the bank to the ground. Mr. Dankworth refused to donate money to have it rebuilt. Huh? Oops. Garby Bunches. Garby Bunches found a vacant plot of land in the alley behind the Twisted Sisters Tavern and set up his Emporium of Wonders. I love this. I think this is super fun. Remember the old movie Sandlot? 
where they kind of showed you what happened to all the characters at the end of, at like what happened to them afterwards in a little bit of a, like a an epilogue kind of moment. I love that. I think that's kind of fun. Good morning. You're listening to the Morning Crawl, the number one morning show in the sprawl. I'm your host, Dodger, joined as always by my co-host, The Ham, who I will remind you is a live pig. Let's jump right in and get your morning started and muse over the news. Today in the headlines, it was just announced that the heir to the throne, Princess Desdemona, has come of age and will be taking a suitor. Congratulations, no, Desdemona. I don't think Desdemona wants a pig as a husband, the ham. But then again, neither did my ex-wife. <laughs> hey -oh! With multiple suitors making their way into the city, expect backups and delays across all major routes this morning. Now let's get to the music. You're listening to the morning crawl here in the sprawl with Dodger and the Ham. Nice. I liked it better when it was Dodger and the Cluck, but I guess it was too hard to keep training that chicken. An angsty band for tweens and tweens at heart. Tweens at heart kind of feels like a weird thing. I don't know if anyone wants to be a tween at heart. I think I should find my dad. Good thing I always sleep in my clothes and I'm ready to go. That's the official crest of the Sprawl and the Royal Family. Okay, so it's like a tree. This is like a tree in a, in a castle area. That's cool. Oh, what's this? A note? Dear Lil, please come down to the guard shed as soon as you can. Love, Dad. Maybe he wants me to work a shift for him again. Or maybe he forgot to put on underwear and needs me to bring him a pair. Oh, there's a 50 50 chance I can use the, chronomo the chronometer 3000 today. Here's hoping. I love the ham. You keep and doing your thing, the, the ham. Mentioned grading pending review will be transferable to a more viable calculation. Which is, needless to say, a more economical contrivance for evaluation. Any questions? That's a big word for Elmo. Many questions. Hey, Dad, I got your note. What's going on? I have no idea. <laughs> Due to the bank of the sprawl being burned to the ground <laughs> as a result of your actions, <laughs> any guardsman who does not receive an above two-star rating at the end of any given shift will lose their job. Oh! But I need my job for gambling. I'll pretend I didn't just hear that. You and I both know my dad has a tendency to half-ass his way through life. Tell me why he needs to whole-ass it all of a sudden and strive for anything above two stars. You tell him, Lil. Why, I'm glad you asked. I've been authorized to award above-average job performance with cash bonuses. Oh! You mean if we get more four more star results, we'll get we'll make more money? You're as quick as your father. Before I go, <laughs> here are the allotted crystals to power your tools. Dang, okay, I don't like you, whatever your name is. And with that, I'm off to tell all the other gate guards about these new rules. Well, all of them except Randy. He's been terminated. <gasps> Not Randy! Not after 35 years of service. Not Randy. <laughs> that guy's a riot. <laughs> Mert, hello. Welcome in. Good to see you. I'm not playing Hell Let Loose this time. Let's go. Welcome in. Welcome in. We lost Randy. How was Mario Kart? Welcome in, Raiders. Good to see you. Which is exactly what his poor judgment led to. Wish me luck. Well, day two. We're playing this oh, new game geez. called Little Guardsman. It's kind of like Randy Papers, Please, but like, cuter. Off his new catapult. I want a catapult. Sounds like you need to start doing your job better. More like you need to start doing my job better. Just like you wanted to. No, that's not exactly what I meant. You just don't get to leave me here while you go bet on Goblin Ball games. No Goblin Ball match today. I received a cryptic letter this morning saying they need me on palace duty, and they specifically reference that you need to cover for me again. Looks like you're not the only one who wants you to work the gate today. Because that's what Papers Please needed. <laughs> I think it's cute. I like it so far. It's been really funny. Kujo, hello, welcome in. Good to see you. Really missing that chibi element. 
This reminds me of like the point and click games from like the the early 2000s and late 90s. This is what it reminds me of. It's really fun. Welcome in, Kujo. I hope you guys had a wonderful time playing tabletop RPGs. How was your games? Welcome in, Raiders. My name is Quincy. We're playing Little Guardsman, which is kind of like this little point and click game where it's like papers, please. Again, not what I meant. It's not all bad news. I scored these off-brand discount crystals from my bookie Fredo as a gift for being his best client. Oh. But he mentioned that they might only work some of the time. But I like those odds. Okay. Dad, you really need to talk to somebody about your gambling. I love you too, Lil. And with that, I'm off. Remember, two stars are better or we're out on our asses. Ugh, no pressure. That's my girl. Nirvana and Gorillas, Lil's a zoomer hands down. And that's why dad loses the gambling. The royal writ, Malcolm. Rather than repairing the dungeon which is falling apart, leading to the escape of a serial arsonist, I'm having the jail cells painted instead. Give me a call when the fellow gets here. I'm having the jail cells painted instead. Give me a call when the fellow gets here. Expect the imminent arrival of two envoys vying for an alliance with the sprawl. That's two envoys, not one. <laughs> Everybody's coming over Quincy's Tavern right now. Welcome in, everybody. Hi, Dice Legends. How are you? Welcome in. Good to see you. Hi, Maddie. How are we? Welcome in. Welcome in, Raiders. My name is Quincy. Welcome to Quincy's Tavern. We're playing a new game called Little Guardsman. It's kind of like Papers, Please, if you've ever heard of that. Basically, we're playing a little guardsman who's at the gate, and we have to let people in. We have to inspect them, make sure they got all their proper credentials. It's really cute. It's like this little like, point-and-click game. It's really, really fun. I hope you guys had a wonderful, wonderful time. It is a busy night here. Welcome in, Raiders. Thanks for coming on in. I hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful night. You're welcome to stay here and hang out and chill out if you'd like to, but we're going to be playing this game. Welcome in, Dice. I hope you guys had a wonderful, wonderful time playing Dungeons & Dragons tonight. Thank you, thank you, thank you for the raid. I really appreciate it. It means a lot. You guys are super kind. All the raids. You guys are you guys are phenomenal. Thank you so much for choosing to come over here. Sounds about right for Landlord. Looks at ceiling. It's got pain instead of fixed. Imagine, right? Uh, let's see. What are we doing? We're expecting two envoys, not one. Uh... Not three, but two. Four is right out. Oh my gosh. Take this opportunity for cultural exchange and learn as much as you can. Really get them talking. That's two envoys, not one. Not three, but two. Four is right out. I love this game. The Duchess of Scarborough's award, award-winning feline competition, Sprankles, shall be arriving in its miniature royal carriage this week. As always, treat any non-human visitor, goblin, gnome, ogre, etc., with extra scrutiny. Remember, if you see something, say something. That's racist. Unbelievable. Okay, buying this game. It's it's available on Steam. It's 10% off right now. Hashtag not sponsored. And it's also on, um, uh, it's also on, what is it? Uh, Switch. You can get it on Switch. Okay, so we can, oh, we can put our things back in, right? So I want the x-ray. What is this? What does this do? What do these crystals do? I don't remember what those do. Well, I guess we're gonna find out. It's not gonna tell me, but it's okay. One in the Dakota ring, one in the truth serum. That works. Okay, cool. One in the metal detector, one in the bull whip, one in the x-ray, one in the tree serum. Okay, cool, 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 cool. The yellow ones are the faulty ones. Oh, so it might work or it might not work? Gotcha. Hello, ma'am. The name is Seamus McGoblin. I've been requested to do some work in the sprawl. Mm-hmm. Just have my supplies here with me. Nothing else to declare. Uh... This is from Malcolm, right? Give me a call. Okay, this is from Malcolm. Okay, rather than, um, I'm having the jail cells painted instead. Give me a call when the fellow gets here. Okay. Um, just making sure. You have paint with you. Are you like an artist? Me? An artist? No, ma'am. I have a real job. I'm a painter. I paint things like walls and doors. Wow, dang. An artist. <laughs> oh, you're giving me a laugh. <laughs> 
I let him in. I like his accent. Tease. Yeah, my mistake. Most artists I've met are hip and cool. You definitely are not hip and cool. That's a dreadful thing to say. I would encourage you to think about how your words may affect people and choose them more carefully. Uh-huh. All right, we call Malcolm. Malcolm! Well, it's about time he showed up. Send him to my office, Toot Sweet, and I'll set him to work. No more doom and gloom down here in my office. Now it'll just be doom. Yeah. <laughs> What's that? Yes, I insist the horse get into the water. This is water polo, after all. <laughs> One more question. If I'm being honest, I'm not sure what I'm being asked to paint. A note was left at my shop late last night. You can have a look if you like. I've got some work for you to do. Come to the sprawl at half past two. There are two ways to paint your stuffs. One legit, the other in cuffs. The little girl will guide your way so that you can earn your portion of a sp portion of a sp official sprawl currency. M. Okay. Yeah. This is, this is legit. Mysterious letters are way more common these days. I have a feeling I'm the little girl they're talking about. I didn't want to say, but you are indeed a little girl. For my age, I'm not. How old are you? Twelve. Hmm. You still seem pretty little. Go in there. Say, for a go, do you have a favorite color? Um, do you guys have a favorite color? What do you want? Red, blue, or green? Whoever has the most answers, I'll pick it. Red, blue, pink, blue, 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 blue. All right, blue it is. Is it a children's hospital? Then red. <laughs> I like blue, I guess. Then I shall paint whatever it is I'm painting blue in your honor. Cool. Thank you again. Seamus McGoblin. Why did I? Oh, I, 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 I was rude to him. That's why. Okay, so if I tease them, they don't like it. Okay, so we don't tease people. That's that's fine. Should I rewind? Can I rewind multiple times? I'm going to rewind. Restart level. I'm gonna rewind. I'm not gonna tease him. I'm not gonna tease him. I feel like if I tease him, that's gonna be... Yeah. Yes. Five custom time travels available. Yeah, I wanna see. I wanna see. Um, I just wanna see. Hi, Austin. How are you? Okay. Okay. So, let's do this. Let's do... Truth Spray. Metal Detector. Decoder. X-Ray. I want these guys to work. The Truth Spray, because it didn't really work on the other guy, we'll just make it think it works. Been looking, making food. Nice, nice. What you making? Hello. Okay. Just okay. have my... Let me just ask him again. Me... So we'll Trust. But I'm sure you're an artist at heart. I'll have to tell Mrs. McGoblin that. <laughs> She'll never believe she's been married to an artist all these years. An artist. <laughs> okay. So we will call Malcolm. Well, it's about... What? We just do this again, kind of like how we had it. In the same way. If I'm being honest. So we got the letter. Sounds good. Trust. I didn't want to say. How old are you? We're 12. Hmm. All right, and we let him through. If you could play as a cat in D&D, &D, would you? A tabaxi? I like playing tabaxis. They're really cute. Blue. Then I shall paint. Okay. Thank you again. Did that give me four stars? Because I was nice. No, it wasn't. Okay. Whatever. 
We'll figure it out later. <laughs> Sausages cooking with a side of rice, steamed broccoli. Ooh, I like it. I like it. Hear ye, hear ye. I have come to announce to the princess a proposal of marriage from my lord and master, Prince Phineas Pomp, heir to the throne of Petra. That is a horrible name. Prince Phineas, son of King Phineas and Queen Buttermilk. Look at him. He got, he gave Crimson Chin a run for his money. Who was daughter of King Fangil, son of Queen Amelia, daughter of King Rupert, son of Queen Talia, daughter of King Salvatore, son of Queen Farabelle, daughter of King Algernon, son of Queen Rebecca, daughter of King Timothy, son of Queen Sasparella, daughter of King Finbar. Son of Queen Anne, daughter of King Remus, son of Queen Turtledove. I want to see how long he keeps going. Who was daughter of King Fangil, son of Queen Amelia, daughter of King Rupert, son of Queen Talia, daughter of King Salvatore, son of Queen Farabelle. Oh, they're repeating it. Algernon, what the son heck? Son of Queen Rebecca, daughter of King Timothy, son of, of Queen, Queen Sasparella, daughter, daughter of, of King, King Finbar. Son of I get it. Thank you. Wow. Okay. I think I got it. Why do I have his pic? I don't want his picture. <sighs> Prince Phineas himself would arrive in the sprawl after a ceremonial visit to the royal sulfur mines of Petrard. Petrard. The prince will be christening the newest of our sulfuric refineries by smashing a bottle of Petrardian fizzy over the front door. <laughs> Petrardian fizzy. That sounds like it's gonna be quite a party. Oh yes, one of the oh, yes. events of the season. Mm, quite, 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 quite. I mm -hmm. thought I might be asked to play my bugle for the occasion. <laughs> uh, but the prince assured me it was much more important that I travel all the way here to announce his eventual arrival. Hmm, quite. Uh, one more question. An alliance between the great kingdom of Petrard and the Sprawl would benefit both sides mightily. Hmm. Imagine the petrol and gunpowder our sulfur mines produce, combined with the technological advancements that your power crystals provide, would create a union that would make our two kingdoms the envy of the world. You know, he got a point there. He got a point. Hmm. I guess a wedding would or a wedding would bring kingdoms closer together. Undoubtedly, vows made in wedlock are never broken. He sounds like Squilliam. Yeah, get lost, Squidward. Anyway. Hmm, <laughs> quiet. Daniel yes. Marjorie. Ah, heck, you, Marjorie. Is Marjorie your ex? My ex-wife. Yes. Hmm. <gasps> uh, let's see. Two envoys vying for alliance with the Sprawl. That's two envoys, not one, but two. Four is right out. Take this opportunity for culture exchange and learn as much as you can. Really get them talking. Okay. And now, in celebration of the beginning of this new chapter of prosperity between the kingdoms of Petrard and the Sprawl, I shall play you an original composition of my own on the Petrardian greeting bugle. If music be the food of love... Then you know what to do, and a two, and a two. <laughs> could be worse. It honestly could be a lot worse. I was expecting it to be more like this. But it wasn't, so... That, I feel like, would have been a little bit more on point. That's what they should have leaned into. They... <laughs> Hi, coffee girl. Have a good night. Thanks for coming by to say hi. I appreciate it. It could have been better, but I think that's what they should have leaned into. Get a recorder. Bravo, bravo. Oh, thank you, kind child. You know, I could have been the first bugle in the Petrardian Orchestra. <laughs> if we had an orchestra. An 11? 11 is slightly above average. We'll take it. Perhaps you know of a music director in the sprawl looking for a man with good embouchure? That's a big word for Elmo. I'll keep a lookout. All right, I'll let you in. You're fun. 
really get them talking, they said. Onward. Why did we all have to learn the record anyway? <laughs> of Prince Phineas Pomp, heir to the throne of Petrard and future <sighs> husband to Princess Desdemona. Incidentally, I believe there is a representative of the Marvog Empire behind Marvog. me seeking to make a similar offer for the hand of the princess. Okay. If you refuse her entry, I will give you much gold tonight. I will Ooh. meet you at the tavern after your shift. Remember, do not let in the Marvog delegate. What if I do? You admitted and admittedly you admitted and admittedly admittingly annoying ambassador. Our scores are not perfect. I don't know why, but you know what? It's fine. This is fine. Good afternoon, child. Good I would afternoon. like to enter this bustling metropolis with the desire to purchase a hat. I have lost my previous hat and I require a replacement. He looks like he needs a hat very, very badly. Why come all this way to buy a hat? Surely they have hats where you're from. They do, yes. But they do not match the standards of my previous hat. I was known well as one who adorned a hat of the highest caliber. I cannot go back. I cannot go back. I must have the perfect hat. It must have a brim as wide as my mama's babushka. Not just fancy, fantastic. Oh. Uh, are you someone I should be sus of? No. Okay. Truth spray. Oh. Okay, it worked. The hat. She was too much. Too fantastic for one man to wear. I couldn't handle the pressure of adorning such a prestigious piece of headwear. I did not lose that fantastic hat. I threw it away. <gasps> but what should have been my salvation was the greatest mistake of my life. And now I must find a new hat of equal, if greater worth than my previous hat. I can only imagine the weight that comes from wearing such a fantastic hat. Heavy is the head, as they say. Okay, one more question. Um, I'll call Striker. Striker, what do you think? If he's looking for a helmet, let him in. We've got quite a few down at the armory we're looking to unload. Some of them are even in pretty good condition. Send him in. Oh, okay. Striker says you're good. Go in and. Buy yourself a hat. Get the perfect hat. At Macy's when they used to spray perfume on you. And ma oh, the perfume department. <laughs> Thank you, child. The next time you see me, you will say to yourself, Is Striker wow, Mercer? I don't know, that actually. I got a fantastic new hat. <laughs> I'm not sure. Uh, maybe. I, I didn't hear it, but I'll probably keep an eye. Uh, try to listen to it next time. Got the thumbs up from hot, from hot lady. Hot lady says you're good to go. I have no doubt in my mind. Your interrogation led you to him burying his soul to you, and you gave the man a second chance at finding his headdress of his dreams. Continue. What was his name? Fapello? Change your name. I come with a message for Princess Desdemona of the Sprawl from Praetor Cargan of the Marvog Empire. Oh, you're the one that I shouldn't let in for money. The Praetor bid me say directly to the princess, Egtag Maia Kora Una Guahatag. Grant me access to deliver this message personally, and I shall recite the Praetor's words to the princess with honor. Ooh. Hail Praetor Cargan! Kapla! So we get to choose Crimson Shin or another hot lady. Hmm. <laughs> if we say no, 
we get money. I killed 19 other mighty adversaries for the honor of delivering this message to your princess. Oh. I have brought you the head of the mightiest of these for you to inspect, as is our custom. Mm-hmm. What is it? Um, thank you for the gift? This is how you know I am worthy to deliver the words of the Praetor to your princess. What is it? What, 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 what is it? Money? <laughs> that needs the money for the ponies? <laughs> the Praetor is attending the ballet tonight. Upon its completion, Praetor Cargan will make for the sprawl. Uh-huh. Oh, so the Praetor is coming here later tonight? Not likely. In Marvog, the ballet can last days, weeks even. It continues until only one dancer survives. Oh. Ballet is one of the finest blood sports in the Marvog Empire, and the bodies of fallen ballerinas are stacked high in the main square, as is our custom. Oh. It's a head. Let the scary woman in. <laughs> Dear God. Is there a prize for, um... Winning the ballet? Indeed, there is. The winner is put directly into the line of succession to rule. Praetor Cargan was one of the finest ballerinas I have ever witnessed. Oh. Slaughtered dozens of other would-be ballerinas with a grace and beauty that brought a tear to my eye. It's Soviet era ballet. <laughs> okay, one more question. Sorry, what exactly was the message you had for the Princess Desmadona again? Desdemona? Praetor Cargan crafted the message personally. A warrior poet. Hail Praetor Cargan! The message is... Ektag maya kola una guahatag. Or in your language... It is marriage which will bring our two proud nations into a state of cooperation. That is the closest translation, even though it loses some of the beauty it has in our town. Okay... You speak our language very well. Could you teach me something in Marvag... Marvagian? It's just Marvag. Not in or right or ease or anything like that. What would you like to learn? Ooh. <laughs> I was like, tell me a curse word. <laughs> Let the Lesbarian in. <laughs> there are many words for this, but typically we also use the phrase f*** off. <laughs> Cool. <laughs> you go in. You're cool. Go beat up the guy with the big poofy hair. <laughs> you have honor, little one, and shall always be a friend of the Marvag. And now, to fulfill my mission to speak the Praetor's words to the princess, Kapla! Kapla! Hey, let's go. Little linguist, you admitted the Marvog env envoy, and you picked up some cool new phrases. I'll take it. I'll take it. <laughs> Who the heck? Hello there, Lucy. Hello, and salutations to you, most honorable guardian of the free peoples of the Sprawl. I am the envoy of the gallant Sir Beverly, a knight of some minor renown, which is also me. Hmm. I have received a very special invitation from Her Majesty Princess Desdemona as she turns her royal eye to finding a suitor. Okay. okay. If there's nothing else, I will be off to my happily ever after. Hmm. Nice cosplay. Oh, I want to use the whip so bad. The horse. My noble steed, Lucy? I don't know how to say this, but that horse is two people in a costume. Oh, turns out I do know how to say it. <laughs> we told you this wouldn't work. Can we get our ten bucks now? <laughs> hey, 
Have you ever met Pris Princess Desmodo Desdemona? Oh, <laughs> today I have not. Tis but a glimpse of her I have yet beheld, but that image has drawn me here like a moth to a forest fire. Oh my gosh. And though it is true I have never known the caress of a lover, the thought of it fills my loins to bursting. Ah! <laughs> Hang on. TMI, dude. I don't want to hear about your loins. Keep it in your tunic. Duly noted. Sweet mother. Hang on. This is the last... I think we have one more person. I don't know. We're going to try the whip. This, this, I think I've already uncovered enough there. <laughs> Everything there is to see here. <laughs> Dang it. Come on, Lil. One, okay, one more. Um, Hang on, hang on. Malcolm, what do you think? Oh my Please word. Try again later. I love it. Okay. Well. Get out of here. Go away. Go away! Oh my gosh. I hate it. That's so funny. I understand. You are being controlled by powerful forces and simply following orders. But know this. There is no force more powerful than love. You have not seen the last of Beverly. Late I just gotta night chill. custodian of the Goblin Ball Stadium. <laughs> On, Lucy. Late night custodian of the Goblin Ball Stadium. Shut up, Beverly. <laughs> <laughs> he wasn't a real envoy, and that definitely wasn't a real horse. Masterful deduction there, guardsman. Masterful, that's quite. <laughs> Beverly, we have a keen eye for such things. Nothing gets past. Oh, hello. Hey, kid, are you Lil? Who's asking? Show a bit of respect. If you see her, tell her I got a mysterious letter for her. Mysterious, you say? Fine, you've got me. Who's it from? I'm not authorized to know. That is mysterious. Does this mysterious letter have anything to do with the one my dad Hamish got this morning? Your dad is Hamish? What a good guy. Did you hear about Randy, though? Only three payments away on that catapult. Yeah, it's a real shame. Anyways, just take the note. I gotta get back to work. Okay. Must be a fellow guardsman. My inventory is full. We get 3,000? Hmm? Wait a minute. What are you doing? I really gotta catch up to my partner. Wait, what? No, I don't want to do that. What? I guess? It just like automatically put me here. Interesting. I really don't know. It just... <laughs> you had me worried there for a second. See you around, kid. Hmm. Interesting. It like, it just put me there. Little girl, little girl stands at the gate, making choices I can't wait. If you've got a taste of madness and wish to circumvent great sadness, come and meet me after dark. Together we make our stamp on the world. Malcolm wants to rule the world? Is Malcolm the bad guy? Okay. Oh, Wicket was the lever machine? Okay, 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 okay. Nothing weird or creepy about that. Hmm, interesting. Interesting, interesting. Where's that music coming from? What, what's happening? Good afternoon, I've traveled from afar. A simple girl who wished upon a star. Inside this castle lies my fate. Perhaps I'll even get a date. To my old life I sing au revoir. And you are? It's Lil, and you need a good re reason to be let in, but so far I'm not, I'm not optimistic. Do you have any idea or anything? I assure you that my heart is true. Must this be a whole to do? 
whip her. It just feels like if you weren't singing, we could move this plot along faster. Well, that took a dark turn. I feel like if I do this, she's gonna like it. But I'm gonna do it anyway. Def, use the whip. Come on, come on, come on! Yes! Watch! Ah, what was that? Why did you do that? Are you threatening me? Not really, I just like using the tools sometimes, too. <laughs> if you want to play, we can play. Let's dance this dance. She's a dirge. Wait, are we playing or are we dancing? Playtime is over. So we're dancing. Dance to this. <laughs> Chloe reaches into her pockets, removes a Molotov cocktail, lights it, lobs it at Lil and the guard shed. You died. Wow, I didn't think that. I didn't think this was that kind of game. Hang on. So funny. That's so funny. Oh my goodness. I love <laughs> That's so funny. Okay. Um let's just trust we're not gonna let her in, but we trust. Let's just see what happens. Okay, I'm gonna call Striker. That took a dark turn. I'm gonna call Striker. Maybe it'll be like, yeah, let her in and we'll get her. The last song, her song is the last thing we hear before we die. What is that? Excuse me, who are you talking to? What are you saying to them? Are you talking about me? Behind my back? Crap. I'm right in front of you. When people talk about me behind my back right in front of me. This is making me angry. Maybe let's try singing? Little attempts to sing. At times like this, it helps this, this calming down. This isn't a duet. I'm the star here. You think you're going to burn me? It's me that's going to burn you. <laughs> <laughs> Come on! <laughs> okay. My goodness! What the heck? What is happening? Good afternoon. I no. <laughs> oh boy, I hope she's single. I'm sensing a pattern here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're the worst. Not gonna lie, though. That is really well done. Hot, 
clappers all around for the voice actors. That was great. That's so good. <laughs> but get out of here. Despite the songbird's sweet serenade, you, you correctly identified a homicidal maniac and turned her away. With the right tool, there may have been more to find. I Ooh, maybe the metal detector. Maybe the metal detector. Hang on, I'm going to rewind. Um... Yeah, we'll do the metal detector. Perfume? I already used the truth spray on uh, the guy with the hat. We already know she's a homicidal maniac. I want to know what she's carrying. I think that might be might be it. Like, we already know she's going to kill people. Alright. Alright, Chloe. Afternoon. <laughs> Music's a vibe, though. Absolutely a bop. Give me this. That's just Fosse. What's a Fosse? Fosse is the name of my blowtorch. <laughs> Confiscate. Friends shouldn't take things from one another. I guess we're not friends then. You don't have anything to light your cocktail. That makes me a little bit nervous for you, Lil. Okay, I've had about enough of a Jew. I'm just so sorry. I'm gonna talk to her one more time. Okay, Lil. Now that we're real bosom friends, I guess I can open up to you. Can you just tell me and not sing it? Nope. Ugh. <laughs> uh. I guess that it's all so true. Why I ventured here to you is that I am a thief. And also I should claim that I likely bear the blame. Forging checks and larceny <laughs> For smuggling drugs and piracy For many fires and causing grief So much grief <laughs> I love this game Just because you're singing it doesn't make it any, any of that remotely okay I love this game Oh my word, you know they had fun playing this and writing this. I see now that you aren't my friend. My uh, here is about you don't to say. You haven't seen the last of me. Phenomenal. You're the worst. Amazing. Okay, we got the blowtorch. There we go. Despite this, you quickly, uh, um, and took away her toy. Okay, it managed to take away her toy. Good job. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Cool. <laughs> we got a blowtorch. <laughs> Money? Due to your good job performance, you were paid 20 gold for the shift. Seamus McGoblin. Three stars represents a good score in Lil's Guardsman. Four star relies on superb deduction, the perfect loadout, a bit of luck, or a combination of all three. You let him in to do his job. What do you want, a parade? The results? A screen like this will guide you towards a three star result, but four star is up to you. Fenton Horcourt Mud. You admitted an admittedly annoying ambassador. Your interrogation led him to borrowing your soul. So this was the right way. This was the right way. Picked up phrases. Took away her thing. Cool. Okay. Neat. Neat. So the replayability would be to try to get four stars, but we're just going to try to go for the story. Don't give the gold to your dad. We absolutely will not. Um, we do have a place to go here. Dungeon 7, room 4, Boulevard de Douleur. Because we are fancy as freak.
Hi, Admiral Thorn. Welcome in. Good to see you. Full on admission. Right? Ooh. Every castle needs a creepy dungeon, right? Ideal for prisoners who only have one arm. Or a neck. Having not seen a bathroom, you become horrified at the realization of what this bucket is for. It's for the poop. Is this the right place? It is. I mean, um, enter if you dare. <laughs> well, that's excessive. <gasps> Hang in there. <laughs> oh, you there. Hello. <laughs> Welcome to my layer of chaos. Oh, gosh. It looks like a bedroom. It is his damn bedroom. It can be two things. I'm a minimalist. So, this is the little guardsman we've been talking about. Wait, you are, right? Yes. I can't imagine why I wouldn't be here. Good news, little girl. You're going to be working the gate for the foreseeable future. <laughs> what? That's not good news. Why me? I hardly have a grasp on what I'm doing, and I'm barely tall enough to see over the desk. I see. Then you're free to go. Keep it together, Mal. Listen, little girl, we have eyes and ears all over the city, but the gates have always been a blind spot for me. Child labor. The point is, the safety and security of the sprawl must be preserved and protected, and you might be positioned to help maintain the balance. Do you understand our meaning? Hot lady says it's our job now. Back up. Who are you? Not quite. Duh. You want me to do favors for you. Use my position at the gates, letting people that you want in deny who you don't. Am I on the right track? You're at the station. What if I refuse? You can't make me do anything. I don't, you can't make me do anything I don't want to do. I'm 12 years old. Damn it. You've got us there. But how about we leave it up to chance? Guess which hand is holding the colored ball, and we'll forget about the whole thing. But if you guess it correctly, you agree to do our bidding no matter how nefarious or unreasonable. Sound like a deal? Do I even have a choice? Yes. You choose which hand. Not the brightest one, is she? Dang. Lieutenant Stryker. His right hand. Pick his right hand. You can't go wrong when you pick right. Malcolm is left-handed, I think. So I'd pick his left hand. What the crap? What you got? What, which one you guys want? Left or right? Got one vote for left. The chair, I know, it's very, it looks very uncomfortable. Left, left, left. Hot lady said right, so... Hot lady did say right. Right? Hot lady did say right. That's, that's a good... That's a good reason. That's like two votes right there. Right, right. Right, 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 right. Okay. Middle. <laughs> Dang it. Oh, I'm sorry. That was the wrong choice. What you should have chosen was my foot. <laughs> the middle was right. Dang it. But you said it was in your hand. If not the hand of the leg. You lost fair and square. Dang it. But. Oh, and don't worry about your father. We're each quite capable at finding ways to keep him busy, making sure you have to cover for him. Huh. But. That concludes this briefing. We suggest you go back home, rest, and wake up tomorrow prepared to go to your new mundane job, which you will work at for the foreseeable future. Capitalism. It's called being an adult. <laughs> <laughs> Ow! Keep an eye out for our directives in your daily guardsman writ. I trust you won't disappoint us. Ah! Uh, I was too close to home. Goodbye! <laughs> oh wait, the lights are off. What? Why did you turn off the light? She obviously knows we're still here. <laughs> she wouldn't have known that if you didn't start talking. <laughs> I should have brought another drink. Oh my! What is? What? What the heck? What the heck? They say nothing as if they're no longer there, except they are.
<laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, too good. Too good. Game of the year for me already? Maybe? Boy, what a day. Hey, Arda, pour me a cold one, will ya? Make that too, Arda. Hey, wait a minute. You're too young to be drinking cold ones. Make hers a milk, please, Art. Chocolate. In a dirty glass. Can it at least be cold? That depends. How did work go today? That's why we love indie games 100%. Uh, have you eaten already? I will- I did eat earlier. I ate around like- I had a late lunch, early dinner. Um, I'm gonna eat like a yogurt bowl after the stream. Did better than a two-star rating, can tell you that. How was... What were you doing again? The bidding of the three royal advisors. You think it's normal that the big names and faces of the city are using this for their own personal and political gain? After today, I don't know what's normal anymore. I want my milk. There's someone waiting for you in the back alley. Garcy blinkers, Gerby bonbons. Oh. Anyways, it's just through that door over there. I was kind of worried for a second. It was like the creepy lady who's going to come here and kill us. Night, blue butterfly. I've been craving sweets all days. So I have nothing here. That's why I bought um, yogurt and fruit. Uh, so I have like a yogurt bowl every night now, at least until I have it done. Then I got some gonorrhea and everything. I also every time it's like it, it candy goes like on sale because of the holidays, because Valentine's Day is coming up soon. You grab a big old bag and you stuff it in the freezer. This is what I do. Hey, we have extra of the daily special today: eggs and oil and lemon. Do you and your dad want to take it? Eggs with oil and lemon. <laughs> no, we're not gonna take it. I don't know who you are, but you're pretty. This hat, it is not as fantastic as my previous hat. Oh, no. My journey, it continues. Oh, he must have a more fantastic hat. That is a very mid hat. Also, there's a goblin in this little jar up here. That kind of freaky. I wonder what they do with that jar. At least it's not a My Little Pony. Because that would be even worse. Aha! There she is, the brilliant little half pint running the desk. Aha! Uh -huh. I trust you refused entry to the envoy from the Marvog Empire like we talked about? If you did, I have the gold I promised you right here. Mm hmm. <laughs> I could lie. I could be a little thievy little tart. <laughs> Get some gold. What's she gonna do? What's the worst that could happen? Hmm. My dirge urge is coming through. Lie for the money. Mm hmm. I'm quite tempted. I'm, I'm not gonna lie. Strawberry donut. Ooh, the baby donut. Not quite a donut home, not quite a donut. The lies of Lil. I kept them out. Sure did. Kick their ass back to Marvag. Hee <laughs> hee. Incredible bravery in the face of a brutal murderer. Huh? Oh, you know, all in a day's work talking. Wait, what? What kind of gold are we talking about here? I have here 20 pieces of gold. Fair is fair. Take them. Eh, that's all right. They are yours and with many thanks from Prince Phineas Pomp, heir to the throne of Petra, son of King Phineas. Yes, yeah, get the gold. Thank you. Oh, yes. Here you are. Oh, money's money. Can we fix this? It's broken. If you can find someone to fix it, be my guest. You got it. We're going to try to fix that. All right, time to go to the creepy alleyway as a 12 year old in a very probably shady part of the town. If you hear me scream, I'm probably already dead. Ooh. Lil, you came. That's what she said. Sorry. Welcome to Garby Bunches and Borium of Wonder. You're oh, my boy. very first customer. Very first customer, yes. Be supportive. I was actually inspired by watching you alternately help and hinder folks at the gate yesterday. And I thought, Garby, there must be an industry of enterprising individuals supporting the guards. And when I looked around, there wasn't. The Ocarina of Time? I think it's the Ocarina of Time Wasting. So I met a mage who's got a magic crystal hookup. 
And now Ooh. I'm selling guardsman tool power up. Oh, that's what it is. I if like you've it. You got the cash. I can sell you extra power crystals. Both the good kind and the cheap roll the dice and see what happens kind. As well as power ups for all of your tools. And get a better whip. It's pricey, but the more crystals you can load into those bad boys, the better. I'm about, Finally, I'm about if you it. need cash, you can sell me anything you might have taken off of unsuspecting suckers. Ooh. Here, take a look. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay, okay, okay. Um. A severed head in a bag. Sure, you can have that. Um, the powerful ruler of the Marvog Empire, pray to Rikargan Kapla. You can have the picture of Petard. Petard. Isn't Petard like another word for like, butt? Proper etiquette when dealing with superior beings? Yeah, I don't want it. <laughs> um, I kind of want to keep the blowtorch. It's worth 25. I feel like that's going to be a good thing to have later on. Um, <coughs> not going to lie. Upgrade is permanent, okay. I think we should upgrade the x-ray. I feel like we're gonna use that a good bit. Um, third rate imported power crystals. Oh, they work 35% of the time, every time. Okay, so 35%. So we got lucky, both of our um, imported crystals worked. So that was pretty good odds. I'm gonna go ahead and grab a a guaranteed one and call it a day. Thanks. Thanks, Bumpkers. It cannot be safe. Lil could follow the stewards if she could walk into that part of the screen. Eh, eh, I can't walk over there. The smell's coming out of the dumpster. Indescribable. All right. Love this game. This is so good. Wait, can I read this? No, it's just you, okay. Time for sleeps. Are you sure you're ready to hit the hay? Yes. Who are you talking to? Quiet, you. <laughs> nice. Day trace. Love Child of Kronk from the Emerson's group and Markiplier's persona, Wilfred Warstaff. <laughs> Seamus McGoblin. Seamus McGoblin did a compendable job painting the dungeon walls. Although humble, he really is quite skilled. He never let a drop hit the floor and did all the edges without using tape. Really high quality work. It brought much needed breath of life to, into the room where some people wait for execution. Seamus went home with his hard earned paycheck in one hand and a bouquet of flowers for his wife in the other. He put his six goblin children to bed, swept his wife off her feet, and took her to their room. Their seventh child, Becky McGoblin, is due sometime in the spring. Oh my gosh. Why? <laughs> The Petrarian envoy presented himself at court, which began okay, until out of sheer politeness, Princess Desdemona acknowledged his bugle. He proceeded to toot his own horn, which rapidly diminished the favor he had curried, and all in attendance left with a bad taste in their mouths and a ringing in their ear. That night, lying in his bed, in the chambers provided for visitary dignitaries, he felt smug that he had managed to successfully slow down the competition by bribing a guardsman. He thought to himself, maybe I missed my calling as a spy, but quickly rethought it as he considered the life expectancy for a Petrardian intelligence agent. Signor Capella Fantastico. Signor Capella Fantastico entered the sprawl and began his quest for the perfect hat. He ventured to every store that he sold headgear in the sprawl. Henry's hats, Linda's lids, Hormuz haberdashery, and Chapeau Shack. Mind your millineries, hats, 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 all caps, and even yiddles, your muck, yurt. But none of them had the type of hat he was searching for. But rest assured, Signor Capella Fantastico will not relent until the top of his head is restored to its former glory. After relaying Pareto's Cargan's message to the princess, the Marvog envoy walked past the National Ballet of the Sprawl's repertory company rehearsing in the park. Seeing that the ballerinas of the Sprawl were doing things completely wrong, the Marvog envoy decided to join in, teaching them a thing or two. Now the Sprawl's ballerinas are experts in their first position and first degree murder. Since the envoy was distracted, the Pareto never got word if princess received their message. But don't worry, they'll show up eventually. 
denied entry, the fake Sir Beverly, took off his fake armor, got back on his fake horse, and went home to his real hut, where he lived with his real mother and wallowed in his very real depression. Real. Chloe encountered a guard patrol outside the city gates and attempted to pickpocket them quietly, which she didn't do successfully on account of all the singing. In jail, it only took her five minutes to be sent to solitary confinement. Water Wizard, thank you for the raid. I appreciate that. Good morning. Or good evening. Hello, hello, hello. Level Trace. Hi, Bryce. You're welcome in. It's news in the morning with me, your news anchor, Manuel Mentiroso. Breaking news. That's awesome, Bahia. Welcome chosen back. chosen suitors for our beloved and newly available Princess Desdemona will be arriving today in the sprawl. Ooh. Be on the lookout for royal carriages, entourages, and attitudes. Oh boy. Breaking news. The Duchess of Scarborough's prized pet cat, Sprankles, has passed away <gasps> at the age of 43. Not Sprankles. A representative from the Small Rodents and Budgie Coalition shared their condolences, then immediately scampered around without reserve. Breaking news. The Sprawl will be host to a Goblin Ball match today between our Sprawl Brawlers and the opposing Kaladar Lightning at the Goblin Ball Arena. Okay. Breaking news. That was my last piece of breaking news. Keep tuning in for all your Sprawl news updates. We now return to our regularly scheduled radio silence. Where's the ham? Ah. No ham. The ham was not there. Dang it. All right. Um, do we still have another note? Oh, look, another note. Lil, I'm running off an errand for Lieutenant Stryker today. Apparently she needs me now, just needs me to time how long it takes to run around the entire circumference of the sprawl. Really shouldn't have completed that hot dog eating contest last night. Do me a favor and go down to the Goblin Ball Arena and place a bet of 30 gold for me after work. There's an extra fiver just for you. He didn't tell me which team to bet on, but my chances can't be any worse than his usually are. Ooh... Hope you had a fun time playing Icarus, Water Wizard. Thank you. I appreciate that. Thank you so, so much. The Royal Writ. Expect the arrival of C Crown Prince Phineas of Petrarch, the Praetor and Praetor of Cargan of the Marvog Empire. Don't let your guard down, but do not delay them unnecessarily. Ash. Today is the Goblin Ball Tri-Goblin Cup semi-final between our beloved Sprawl Brawlers and the Kaladar Lightning. Bastards. There has been a BS report, Bank of the Sprawl, regarding a number of unusual transactions involving sports betting. A reminder to the Guard Force, city officials are forbidden to partake in grey market sports betting. The Guards are hearing talk of increased smuggling. Be vigilant. Watch out for anything that could have a secret compartment. Trust no one. Deploy the truth spray if necessary. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Jay and Straw have joined the Tavern Guard. Thank you, Paul Hip, for the gifted sub. I appreciate that. Thank you, thank you. Okay, so the two teams are the Sprawl Brawlers and the Kaladar Lightning. Involving sp So do we bet now or bet- I think we bet later, right? Let's see. So we bet later. Okay, okay, okay. So let's try to get some information to see who we're betting on. Um, we need the truth spray for sure. I want two x-rays. The bullwhip will do this. Dakota ring. Metal detector. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Okay, we begin. Things are getting- it's getting- it, the story's getting good. Oh, hello. Yes, it is I, little one. Heir to the throne of Petrarch, here before you in the flesh. Please, no need to bow or genuflect. No need to avert your eyes, no. Hmm. For though I am a crowned prince of the realm, I am a humble man. One of the people. No better even than you, tiny gatekeeper. <laughs> mm-hmm. Um, don't let your guard down, but do not delay them unnecessarily. So do we just let them through? You'll be glad to know that the opening ceremonies of our newest royal sulfur mine were a complete success. Cool. Only four deaths, which is far fewer than the last. Pretty good. 
No matter, we look forward in Petrard. No sense crying over spilt... Uh, Blood. Well, there, there it is. <laughs> Trust. I'm glad things went well. Jeez, four dead at an opening ceremony. Yes, tragic. Avoidable, but still tragic. Uh-huh. Luckily, it wasn't anyone important. A few unskilled laborers and one server. Could have been much, much worse. Uh-huh. Huh. That was from the photos, yes? Yeah, that's what the photos were for. Hmm. Hmm. I've heard tell that the barbaric warmonger Praetor Kargan is my chief rival for the hand of your fair princess. <sighs> Can't even find decent competition these days. The Marvarg are a loathsome bunch of butchers, killing each other over the tiniest infractions. Bump into someone in the checkout line, trial by combat. Accidentally sneeze on a sacred heirloom, trial by combat. <laughs> Worst vacation of my life. <laughs> Tease. Why, how dare they not appreciate you doing them the honor of blowing your nose on their most precious and sacred heirlooms. You are indeed wise beyond your years, <laughs> gatekeeper. <laughs> oh, those Marvog should have thanked me for gifting them my royal mucus. Mucus. Barf. Okay, let me call Ash. Is he handsome? Eh, well... Is he charming? They say that he's charming. Uh, he's a charm for a prince, I guess. Yes. I don't meet a wide range. I'm 12. Oh, never mind. I will see for myself. Send the prince in at once, and for goodness sake, don't talk to him. We wouldn't want you to put him off. <laughs> <laughs> well, we talked to him, so... Ash says you gotta go in, so... I kinda wanna see what drama happens. Maybe he'll die. In trial by combat. <laughs> And with that, it is off to face the princess and destiny. Uh, before I go, can you spot me a fiver? I'm afraid I left my wallet in my other pants. Oh, my sweet mercy. Sure. A uh, much appreciated little one. I'll be sure to send a case of quality Petrardian fizzy to your local establishment. Maybe that goes to the tavern. Nice to keep some of my favorites on hand anyway. It's always nice to be able to favor. Good night, hippie. And <laughs> it's a very nice ball. And the prince, well, he's tall. <laughs> is that all? <laughs> Wait, what is that from? Is that from? That sounds very familiar, Wiffle Possum. I was about to say like Swan Princess. Into the woods. Oh, that's right. Yes. I was like, is that in is that I, I was thinking, um uh Swan Princess when it's like, she's beautiful. Well, what, is this? What, what, what else is there? What else is there? Um, should the crown prince really be bumming cash off the peasantry? Probably not. Also, you'll never see that five bucks again. We got two. We got two stars for this. I think it's because we talked to him. But honestly, I don't care. We'll we'll keep going. Avoidable, but tragically. Hello. Good day. I traveled up here with the convoy what was bringing Prince Phineas to the sprawl. Okay. I'm not staying long. Just need a place for tonight before I head back to Petrard. Cool, cool, cool. Um... We'll talk to you one I was hired to come along with the convoy in case anything broke down on the way. In case repairs were needed on any of the equipment or transport. Okay. The prince doesn't exactly travel light. Three carriages of wardrobe changes alone. To be honest, I don't get to the sprawl often. Too many mages around these parts for my liking. Okay. I'm sure they were glad to have you as a personal insurance policy. I don't know if I'd go that far. If they didn't absolutely need to hire someone to make sure the prince was here bright and early, they surely would not have. Wouldn't spend a penny on their dying aunt, the Pomp family. Huh. We're gonna do a quick metal detect x-ray on you, my friend. Nothing crazy. Everything seems to be good. That toolkit was handed down to me by my great aunt Gildy, one of the finest restorers of beauty this world has ever known. A kit like this in the right hands, and there's nothing you can't do. 
Huh. You can have it. It's okay. I think you know what to do with these better than I would. I appreciate it. Especially coming from a fellow tool enthusiast. Tool enthusiast? You got your own awesome tool kit there, and I bet you love using it as much as I do mine. Tell you what, if there's anything you need fixing, I'd be happy to take a look for you. Oh? As a matter of fact, the toolbox at the Twisted Sisters Tavern has been on the fritz for ages now. Oddly enough, fixing I did not even think about that. This is my specialty. I'll go there straight away, and you'll be boogieing before you can sing a chorus of Hey Nani Nani. Hey Nani Nani. Nani Na. I don't understand what any of that meant, but great. Honestly, word. You can go. I like you. One more time. I want to talk. I'll just talk to you one more time. If I could have afforded to stay home, I would have. But they made me an offer I couldn't refuse, so to speak. Was it a threat? A horse's head in your bed? Nope, just a big heaping pile of money. The king and queen are desperate for the prince to secure the hand of Princess Desdemona. Mm. The future prosperity of Petrard depends on it. Oh. To be frank, the whole kingdom is flat broke. This is their only chance. Oh. Rich. Huh. I guess it explains that big deal everyone is making out of the whole let's marry the princess off thing. Shouldn't she have some kind shouldn't she have some kind of say in the matter? Now that is something seriously worth considering. <laughs> Interesting. I like you. You can go. Also, you're going to go fix the tavern jukebox. How to insult women in five syllables or less. <laughs> I thank you for this respite for the evening. I'm certainly glad I don't have to head all the way back to Petrard tonight. By the way, do you know of a good inn nearby? Yes. No better place than the Twisted Sisters Tavern. Not a classic beauty, but she'll get you where you need to go. My kind of establishment. I'll see you there. I bet they serve waffles. Yeah! You tool enthusiasts need to stick together. Let's go. Sprinkles! <laughs> a small group of black-clad folk approach the shed, weeping and moaning. Just Sprinkles' funeral. Oh, boo hoo hoo. Oh, Sprinkles. What in the Adams family? Weep, weep. Hmm. <laughs> weep, weep, weep. We are returning from the funeral services for Sprinkles. Hmm, quiet, yes. Oh, no. Boo hoo! <laughs> the service was held in the Duchy of Scarborough, but the um, remains are being interred at St. Euphigenia's Pet Cemetery. Euphigenia? <laughs> Sprinkles loved visiting her friends at St. Euphigenia's. <laughs> okay. So sorry for your loss. We do not have a pet cemetery suitable for such an entry in the Duchy of Scarborough. Hey, What exactly is a duchy? It is a parcel of land under the purview of a duke or duchess. Scarborough is the duchy controlled by Her Grace, the Duchess of Scarborough. Uh-huh. Present. And it is a far nicer duchy than some. For instance, the Duchy of Caladar. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Calendar. What a dump! Wait. Um. Increase smuggling. Watch out for anything that could have a secret compartment. Trust no one. Deploy the truth spray if necessary. All right. You heard the writ. I only went to the funeral because Monty's was catering. I always hated that damn cat. Uh huh. Sprinkles. Okay, that makes sense. I'm sad. <laughs> I'm Just sad. Quiet. Get the cat past customs and then drop the illegal contraband off at the dungeon. There it is. Then I'll get my money and be set. There it is. My eulogy was very rambly and very poorly received. Wait, what? <laughs> Hang on. What did you just say? I'll admit it. I hated the cat. 
No, 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 yeah, you, the, the, you mourner guy. I confess, I've been holding this inside for too long. I was approached by a weird guy who tricked me into smuggling illegal pixie dust into the sprawl for him. He was holding the ball in his foot. Who does that? I plead guilty, Your Honor, on the grounds of I did it. Aha. Uh -huh. I I'm not a judge, you know. Oh. But I'll leave it to the courts to deal with this. The rest of you, pack up your dead cat and be on your way. Okay, you guys can go. The other guy left. Okay. Inter interesting. Interesting. Well, there it is. Have fun burying your cat. We shall. Sprankles will be so happy at St. Euvaginias. I just know it. Thank you, my dear. Sprankles thanks you. Okay, it automatically went to the thing to pull him there. I didn't get to choose that. It just happened. So, good to know. And that's how you truth spray your way to success. I wish I could have... Um... What a weird day. Good job. You did it. You foiled the drug smuggler bringing the narcotics grade pixie dust into the sprawl inside the casket of a dead cat. What a weird day. Good job. I wonder if we could have confiscated it. If we could have confiscated it, I would have sold it to Garber. But then it would have been inside. But, you know, then we would have also been, you know, smuggling narcotics and everything. But we would have gotten money for it. I made it. Listen, I gotta get in there. The whole team came through a while ago and the game is about to start. We all good? What team are you on? And you are... You're kidding, right? Come on, I'm Saruna Goodfoot, the Star Troll Goblin Ball player for the Kaladar Lightning. I don't have time for games right now. <gasps> I'm going to get to the stadium and win us the game. Wait. If we deny them from getting in, they don't have the star player. We place our bet on the Sprawl Brawlers and we win. And we get money. I'm just saying. I'm trying to think like a 12-year-old. I think it's a good idea, you know? Kind of like going with the lore and everything. I'm just, just saying. Come on, the big goblin ball game starts in 30 minutes. Would My be a shame if it didn't make it in. Detour to get here. What more do you want me to say? Whopper, 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 junior, double, triple, whopper, flame, is it really your personal driver's fault, or is it that you have a hard time dealing with pressure? You sound just like my psychiatrist. Personal driver, psychiatrist, is there anything you don't have? I don't have time to talk to you all day. I don't want to waste these yet. I'm going to talk to her again. Can we move this along? I'm the starting thrower and the team needs me to wipe the floor with those pathetic sprawl brawlers. They're such a horrible team. I bet we could win even without my lucky second sweatband. What lucky second sweatband? This lucky second sweatband. I'll take that. Hey, you can't take that. I needed to win the big game today. I have to take it. it it's it's evidence. Evidence? What are you talking about? Evidence that you don't need some lousy sweatband when to win a game. You just need to believe in yourself. Huh. I never thought about it like that before. Wait, I'm confused. You got a sweatband belonging to the star thrower of the Kaladar Lightning, Saruna Goodfoot. It will fetch... This will fetch a high price with a particular type of buyer. Okay. Or you let him in and bet on his team. <sighs> One more question. Kid, you took my lucky second sweatband. I got nothing more to say to you. What's it going to be? I uh, Well, I also need a two-star rating. Otherwise, I don't get paid and we lose the game. I think I'm gonna follow I'm gonna follow through with my original plan. We're gonna deny, and then we're gonna bet on the sprawl brawlers. This is probably very bad. You can't be serious! You're actually not gonna let me in? 
This is some stupid plan to get your team to win? Cause that is low, little girl. Whatever. Maybe I can try to make it to another gate before the game starts. They don't call me the fastest arm in the game because I run slow. Wait, what? We're gonna commit. We're gonna commit. We're committing. Oh! Although she had very legitimate reason for entering their sprawl, you sent her packing. Maybe the sprawl brawlers have a chance in tonight's game after all? We get three stars for that? Interesting. Okay. Hello. Greetings. I am Praetor Kargan of the Marvog Empire. I believe you met my envoy, the angry warrior with the head in the bag. She would have come by this gate to announce my arrival. I demand you let me pass immediately. Quapla. <laughs> yeah, uh huh. Um, we'll try the whip. I don't understand the scoring system either. Ah, ouch! <clears throat> I do not fear the dainty crack of a whip. <laughs> if I was afraid of whips, I'd have never made it in the tango. Uh huh. You mean ballet, right? Of course. Don't you think I remember what form of dance almost killed me? Uh huh. I want to keep her talking, though. Why do you pester me with questions? I am a very important royal figure, and I must enter your city to meet your princess and marry uh -huh, her. Uh -huh. Now let me be gone, child. Quack black. Quack black. <laughs> Tease. A thousand apologies. I imagine you don't like to be kept waiting. I understand these are only routine procedures. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Sure, 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 sure. Your envoy said you had a message for the princess. Uh, what was that message again? My message? Oh, it's Iki Bok Choi Flanagan Mok Tok. It mm -hmm. means together we shall be married. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's beautiful. Thank you. Quaplorm. <laughs> Doubt. How long did it take you to learn a second language? Not that long. It wasn't hard to learn Marvagian. <laughs> I mean, this language we're currently speaking. <laughs> Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Let me just open the gate for you. But I am the prattler. The phone is ringing. What on earth are you doing? Since when are you exercising independent thought? I don't care what your opinion of them is. If they're the real Praetor Cargan, then let them through at once. Is that clear? Deny. Close the door. Heck no, lady. Hi, error. This is kind of, um... You've made a powerful enemy today, little girl. You'll soon feel the wrath of an entire empire. Quaplort and goodbye. Uh-huh. Um, it's kind of like papers, please. You'll get people coming in to the... Trying to get into the city. You're like a gatekeeper. And you gotta, like, literally gatekeep and girl boss from a people trying to gaslight you. Um, so you ask them questions, you kind of use items to interrogate them, and you try to make sure you let good people in or, you know, keep bad people out, etc., etc. It's really cute. It's a really cute little game. It's called Little, little Guardman, Guardsman. You saw through the old fake prey to a routine from a mile away. Who does she think you are? Someone who can't see through the old fake prey to a routine? <laughs> Amateur. This game is cuter than Papers, Please. Yeah, it's it's like Papers, Please fantasy. There we go. Little warrior, I am weary after a long journey, and I am not used to being made to wait in a lineup. Let me pass on my way. I must rest before I meet your princess in order to win her hand and bring honor to my people. This seems more legit. This may seem like the strangest request for me, but would you mind saying your famous battle cry for me? You mean Kapla? That's the one! I would hope that my stunning war cry is sufficient to being granted entry immediately. Yep, you got it, lady. That's all I needed. Yep, 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 yep. 
And thus I truly begin my quest to marry Princess Desdemona and bring a generation of prosperity to the Marvog Empire. Yeah. You, little warrior, will have a footnote in history for this encounter. For victory. For <laughs> Marvog. Kapla! Kapla! A better than four stars. Let's go. After the imposter, it was very clear this visiting dignitary was on the level. Exemplary job granted them immediate entry. No one could accuse you of unnecessarily delaying anyone. Four stars. Oh, sevens. Level three score. I'll take it. I'll take it. Due to your good performance, 3.5, you were paid 20 gold for this shift. Prince Phineas. Should the we 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 wasted his time? That's why we all got two stars. Dwarven Tinkerer, Duchy of Scarborough, Saruna Goodfoot, Praetor Praetor Cargan, and Praetor Cargan. Okay, so this could have been better. That's okay. Nice. Betting time. We took away the sweatband and we delayed her. So hopefully this makes it okay. Twisted Sister Tavern, Garby Shop, the Goblin Goblin Ball Stadium. Let's go to the stadium. Let's make some money. Hey, it's kind of a fabulous hat. You guys can't see it, but um, he got he got a fancy hat on his head now. Coming to my booth today. I'm here taking a poll on what the new name for the stadium should be. Okay. What's wrong with the Goblin Ball Stadium? It's a little on the nose. The owners want a little more pizzazz in the title, and you don't get pizzazz without taking polls or poll zazz, as I call it. Can <laughs> I give your opinion? Actually, I really gotta be. Great. What one word would you use to describe Goblin Ball? Uh. I don't know. Perfect. And the stadium, you would say it's... It's a... Coliseum. Excellent. And finally, you come to the stadium mostly for... Uh... Overpriced food. Okay. That is super. Your input will be tallied with the others. Thank you very much for your time today. Cool. Your choice will have an effect on the sprawl. I'm so excited. Concessions, come and get them. We got it all. T-shirts, hats, food, drink, illegal gambling, commemorative foam fingers. You there, what can I get for you today? Did you say illegal gambling? I sure did. You interested? I'm 12. Hey, it's illegal anyways. What's the difference? He <laughs> <laughs> got a point there. He's like, it's illegal anyway. What you want? Can't be any worse than this time of my dad, so sure, why not? Here are the teams at play, kiddo. Which one do you want to hear about? Tell me about the Kaladar Lightning first. Eh, they're not the best team in the game, but they got a real ring of playing for them. Saruna Goodfoot. Boy, when she gets going, you can't stop her. You sure you want to bet on them? No. Tell me. Here are the teams at play. Tell me about Sprawl Brawlers. The home team hasn't been doing too well at home lately. A lot of people are still angry at him after that game with the foul and the points got reinstated. Okay. They're more of an away team, but they're a shoe in to win today. If the other team didn't have that ringer Saruna Goodfoot playing for them, you sure you want to bet on them? Yes. How much you looking to gamble? Uh, we got 70 gold. Solid 50. We're going all in. We're going all in. Yeah. Yes. 50 right, gold. Kid, your bet is in. Good luck. All right. What's the worst that could happen? Serena Goodford shows up with her number one lucky head sweat band, and then they wipe the team and we lose $50? We'll see. Let's let's find out. Mr. Hot Pants, hello, welcome in. Good to see you. Welcome, welcome. You're welcome here. Welcome in. This hat, it is not as fantastic as my previous hat. Oh. My journey... It continues. He must have a fantastic hat, and that one is not fantastic. All right, let's go watch the Goblin Ball game. Let's watch some Goblin Ball.
All in, baby. Hasta one of the most chaotic third quarters I've ever seen, complete with the rare capture of the golden mongoose. This is still anybody's game. Let's go. But without Kalidar star player Saruna Goodfoot, the sprawl brawlers are looking good. Let's go. Jorbala Pepstein has taken possession of the wagon wheel, and she hurls it, and it's passed through the flaming gate. I don't know what this means. That's the game, folks. A stunning victory for the hometown heroes, and you better believe the Kalidar Lightning are wondering where the hell their star player Saruna was today. What a great day of goblin ball, folks. Easy peasy. Lucky guess, kid. Come back next time for all your illegal gambling needs. Just ask for Fredo. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. Well, we got a hundred bucks. We're leaving. Ha 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 ha. They goblin that ball. Goblin this nut. Got him. Uh, Garby shop. What's up, Garby? Wait, is it called Garby Bunches because he's got bunches of garbage? Well, if it isn't my favorite pint-sized Lil Guardsman Lil, you just missed the guards from down at the East Gate. They almost cleaned me out, but I promise I saved a few goodies just in case you happened by. Well, congratulations, Garby. Gee, thanks. Take a look. Okay. Um, still dripping athletic sweatband that belonged to Goblin Ball Superstar Saruna Goodfoot. 40 bucks. Sure, take it. Um, we have 160. Let's upgrade our metal detector. Our truth spray. And let's grab two power crystals. Yeah, that seems good. We're out of money, but we should be... We should be good. His voice is a love child of Kronk when war starts. <laughs> let's go. Let's see if he fixed the thingy. Poor thing. I bet the life you. I bet you was the life of the party once. Oh wait, did I use all my money? Uh, you soon? Oh. If it isn't my little gate guard friend, of all the taverns and all the towns and all the world. Yeah, yeah. Hello again, Mister Dwarf. This jukebox doesn't work. Yeah, it's been broken for ages. Looks like the cables have been chewed right through. Must have been the rats. Yuck. Rats? Not a classic beauty. She had a classic beauty. You can say that again. Anyway, I can fix that for you. That'd be wonderful. For a price. Oh. Crap. Okay, how much are we talking about here? Hmm. Fifteen gold should do it. Ugh. No, I don't have money. Hang on, live without music. No sweat. I've been just fine without any music or joy in our lives for years now. Just fine. Suit yourself. Was available available off stream? It will be. It will be. Yes. Okay, we're gonna go. We're gonna sell the the thing. I want to get this jukebox. Yeah, we're gonna sell the blowtorch. Garby. I kind of want to keep the picture. Did you forget something? This might be an absolute long shot and probably won't happen, but if they get married, the picture could be worth a lot more. I should have asked her to sign it. I want to talk to you first. I did it. I quit my job as lackey to that awful man. And when I mentioned it to someone at the bus stop, they gave me a sock. And I have no idea why. <laughs> Just one sock, not even the pair. What am I supposed to do with one sock? Oh, I made a terrible mistake. Okay. Good. Good. Good job. <laughs> okay. Anyway, I can fix that. That would be one to price. Uh, okay. Uh, how much are we talking about here? Hmm. Pay the dwarf. All right, it's a deal. Beauty. See, that's the wonderful Beauty. thing about knowing how to fix things. Never goes out of style. Not like those bloody mages. How long is this going to take? Listen, lady. 
Patience is a virtue. Uh huh. <laughs> there you go. That should give the old girl a few more years. Cool. Thanks, Mr. Dwarf. Don't mention it. Now, leave me to enjoy my ale. Now that's better. Little guardsman theme. Garby's kicking it jam. Little ha Lil and Hamish theme. Winner Gagnants. You failed, you're dead, get out. <laughs> you, you failed, you're dead, get out. Lieutenant Strikers Military Band. Councilwoman Ash. Malcolm's Air V and V. That's fun. Cool. All right, time for bench. Nitro, thank you for the raid. I appreciate Will, that. Thank you. You'll never believe what happened. I just got sent a whole case full of fine Petrardian fizzy. Nice. That was me. Go oh, shush your mouth. But. I don't know what to do with it. I don't dare open it here. It could blow up my inn. But it sure does look pretty here on the shelf. Maybe I'll sell it to go. Thanks again for getting the jukebox working. Yeah, you're welcome. I think I've done everything I need to, but are you sure you're ready to hit the hay? Yes. Hi, Kel Bob. Welcome and good to see you. Nitro again, thank you for the raid. I appreciate it. Hope you had a good stream. Upon entering the sprawl, Prince Phineas presented himself at the court to the princess, but not before he was able to double the fiver you let him into a game of beer pong at the Basilisk Club, which he then tripled participating in the Leaky Down Spits of Arm Wrestling Tournament. However, he then lost it all in a high-stakes game of Spin the Bottle at Harpy's Rest. One of his attendants watched a mage-grade crystal fall out of his pantaloons as they traversed the alley behind the Twisted Sisters Tavern en route to the palace. Perhaps it's still there in the alley. A mage-grade crystal fall out... The Dwarven Tinkerer left his interaction with Lil the Guardsman with a spring in his step. The connection you made in a time of increasing intolerance toward non-humes made him think that perhaps rumors of bigotry in the sprawl have been greatly exaggerated. Unfortunately, just before heading up to bed in his room at the inn, he took in the night air and chanced upon a group of young men leaving the social club for the Sons of Nobles Clubhouse. They were able to overpower him and stuff him into a garbage can. He found the next morning... He was found the next morning without his recently discovered faith in his humanity. Oh, no. Welcome in, Saturn. I appreciate the follow. Welcome in. The Duchess of Scarborough, her valet, and her entourage made it to St. Saint Euphigenia's just in time for the solemn event of the Sprinkles' funeral. There was not a dry eye in the house, nor a dry crotch when it came to the cats and attendants, who commemorated the evening by cleaning themselves through the Duchess's moving eulogy. Interesting. The smuggler was apprehended and promptly sent to the dungeon. Fortunately, he escaped sometime between midnight and 2am, with the help of his mysterious contact in, on the inside, who's often happened to just be down the hall from that particular cell. The Kaladar Lightning was confused by the absence of their star player, although it was a relief to play a game without the fear of being accidentally assaulted by their overenthusiastic troll teammate. They found Saruna wandering the fields outside the sprawl, trying to make her way back to Kaladar the next morning. Kaladar's keeper of the Golden Mongoose tried to console her and was promptly, accidentally assaulted. The fake Praetor that you very wisely turned away took upon their shtick on the road and was eventually picked up by the Marvog authorities for impersonating their beloved Praetor. She was later sentenced to performing in the next ballet lovingly called The Nutcracker. Because she was admitted at the gate without any hindrance whatsoever, the Praetor had a few extra minutes on her hands before she needed to present herself at the palace. She had just the best time. So she met, she met a good dog who she patted. She kicked a football around with a couple of only slightly filthy ragamuffins on the West Valley and Green. She made it an extremely clean cut as she dismembered the left arm of a mugger who attempted to take her coin purse. And all in all, it was one of the most relaxing afternoons in the recent memory for her, and she was refreshed and rejuvenated by the time she made it to court where she dazzled those in attendance. Nice. Level four. 
for hard-hitting, high-octane extreme sports highlights and recaps, you're listening to the number one sports station in the sprawl. Now, here's Gavin Bout Goblin Ball with your hosts, Rhonda and Peg. <laughs> oh, Rhonda, what about the outcome of last night's game, the Brawlers and the Lightning? Oh, Peg, you don't want to get me started on that. But I do. First, the big news. They finally decided on the new name for the Goblin Ball Stadium. Oh? After months of in-person and in-creature polling, the most popular name as voted by the Sprawl appears to be... The I Don't Know Coliseum for Overpriced Food. <laughs> I like it. I like it. I hate it. <laughs> well, right down the middle. Let us know what you think by calling <laughs> the station at 555 21 we interrupt this broadcast to bring oh. you an urgent announcement. <laughs> it has just been reported that Princess Desdemona, the sole heir of late King Oswin and sovereign successor to the throne, has been reported missing early this morning. Oh no! In the wake of her mysterious disappearance, the Guard Corps and City Council are scrambling to maintain order over the city. Uh-oh. All other radio programs have been cancelled until further notice. I'm Manuel Mentiroso, waiting quietly by the microphone for any new information. Ooh. Hi, Koopo. Hi, new man. Welcome and good to see you. This is a really fun game, Nitro. I enjoy it. It's really cool. It's called Little Guardsman. It's it's new. It just came out a couple days ago. It's been a fun time. All right, let's go. Go to work. Whoa, someone's in a rush. Where are you headed to, my little rocket? Sorry, sir. Can't talk. Gotta go down to the guard shed to work for my... Uh... Wait a minute. Dad? What are you doing here? I thought you'd be running errands for Stryker or Malcolm or whoever. Do you have the day off? I wish. Since Princess Desdemona went missing, Councilwoman Ash is really cracking the whip. She's got me pulling double duty, doing her little odd jobs and tasks. She's acting like she runs the place. Uh, well, then what are you doing here? I missed you. Aww. I guess I just wanted to come check in. Is it computer or console? It's available in Steam and Switch. Don't worry. Nobody knows that your daughter is coming for you at work. It's not about that. I mean, that's great and all, but are you holding up okay? Aw. Uh. It's been tough. It's been tougher than I thought. I know. And I'm sorry about all this. I love you, little one. Well, that was wholesome. Ew, gross. <laughs> and I'm sorry times aren't what we want them to be. There's nothing I wouldn't give for our lives to be a little more relaxing and a little less separate. I promise one day I'll make it right. Stop gambling. I love you too, big guy. Ew, gross. <laughs> Cute. You're just saying this all because the princess is missing and you're feeling all sentimental. All right, all right, I'll stop. I'm just happy to see you're here. Not for long. I'm due down at the shed. And I'm off to take down any goblin-friendly signage and pro-non-human literature across the sprawl. Not sure why, but then again, mine is not to ask, just to do as I'm told. Huh. We are so alike in so many ways. So long. See you at the tavern if I get off in time. See you, Dad. Aww. Potatoes toot. Does toot. This is a very funny game, Newman. It's it has a lot of really funny jokes. Attention. Oh, oh sevens. God, is it? Did I really pull a Randy and mess up so badly you had to come down here to fire yourself and fire me? Soldier, it's nothing like that. You did not pull a Randy. Pull a Randy. <laughs> Randy got fired. Thank God. I'm here to personally approve the upgrade of the Wicked 3000. Oh! With the princess missing and between you and me, the council's increased paranoia, the jail lever has been reinstated. Check the alleyway. We can only do that after work. You can get back in your chair now. Oh boy. Another lever means more work for me. Does that mean I get a pay raise? That's hilarious. Seriously funny stuff. Uh, no, but now instead of determining who should enter or be denied from the sprawl, you <laughs> also Randy. must correctly identify criminal threats and jail them. Any questions? Cool. Yes, how? How will I figure out who to, who to deny and who to jail? Let's use a real-life example. Someone you've seen already. 
This criminal is best known for burning down orphanages full of sleeping children. What do you do? Deny. <laughs> Admit. What? <laughs> I referenced a burning orphanage. Admitting her means little teeny Tom burns to a crisp. I gotta ding you for that, Lil. Oh, come oh, on. I see you're broke. You've clearly been dinged sufficiently. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Just denying her would not protect the surrounding villagers. <laughs> and what's to stop her from going to the next gate and getting lucky with a guard like Randy? That, too, would have been an error in judgment. Dang. Uh, That's I all tried. I have to say about that. I tried. Any further questions? Um. Yeah, personal. Well, I've got... Well, while I've got you, t tell me a little bit more about yourself. Well... I grew up a military brat. Uh, my father was a general for the princess's grandfather, King Artemis. It, wait, why am I telling you this? You received your briefing, now do your duty. Aw, dang. Everyone in jail. <laughs> Frickin' Randy. <laughs> I just thought, when, and just when I thought we were bonding. The Royal Writ, this is by Royal Decree for today. Due to the sudden and unexplained absence of the princess, visitors should be thoroughly vetted and harassed. I mean, questioned. And don't be afraid to use that delicious new jail lever. The city's morale has hit an all-time low today. Anyone from the entertainment sector should be bumped to the front of the line. We're instituting a severe cutback of non-human entrance to the sprawl. Secondhand intelligence suggests that a goblin was behind the princess's disappearance. Therefore, we are issuing a blanket no goblins allowed policy this week. In fact, I'll pay 12 for every goblin I see in the dungeon by the end of your shift. Aw, oh, man. Be on the lookout for would-be heroes and vigilantes wanting to offer their assistance in search and rescue efforts for the princess. The High Council of the Sprawl have their own plan to ensure the princess's safe return. The pr this princess thing, people are going nuts. Have you heard about that crazy no goblins policy? Let's dial back on the more comfortable one go- to a more one goblin allowed. At the very least it'll bug Councilwoman Ash. Malcolm. So we're gonna let all the goblins in. Because that's cool. Okay. We have eight crystals. Plenty of guarantees. Boom and boom. Yep. Nice. So all of these will work. Guaranteed. Why is there half a head on the screen? I, that's a good question. Can't couldn't tell you why. Let me try to see Hello refresh. There. My name is Let Face. I am a farmer from Firewall Canyon, a quaint little town just on the other side of the sprawl. Interesting. Hang on, let me I think it's the emote wall. Let me refresh it. Refresh cash. There we go. Okay. I am coming into town today to sell produce I have grown with my own two hands from land that was left to me by my great goblin uncle in his will. His dying wish was that I restore the family farm to its former glory. At least, I think that is what it says. He did not have the best handwriting. <laughs> Jail! <laughs> Sorry, did you say your name was... Buttface? Yes. Yes, I did. It is certainly not what I would have chosen to fill eight characters. <laughs> <laughs> I would have liked Spencer One or even Quincy Hart. <laughs> you cannot choose your own name, am I right? Dang! <laughs> I'm kind of wanting to let him in just because of that. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be honest, just because of that. That's very random and rare. I don't think that that's... Hmm. I, I think literally because of that. Okay, maybe he can be it. Okay, I'm <laughs> just... <laughs> Flattery will get you everywhere. Gotta expand and sell my produce in new markets. The old farm has not been doing too well as of late. I am afraid I have put my priorities into other areas like foraging and fishing. I am quite horrible at growing vegetables, but I am your goblin if you need someone to gather pine cones. Amazing. I'm sure you can turn things around. All it takes is a little hard work. Maybe a little too much hard work. I am not sure I am cut out for the farming life. Just look at this rice I grew. I'll take that rice. Please take it. No one would buy it from me. <laughs> <anyway>. <laughs> <laughs> Who 
me get some pixelated rice. You got a bag of low quality rice. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. I'll, I'll take it. I would like to, if you're good with that, I would like to x-ray you, good sir. Oh. What it is? That is my rake, and watering can, and shovel handle, and sword, and my colander. The tools of the trade. I don't know if you need a I sword. I probably upgrade them, but who has the money for that? Tell me about it. Okay. One more question. Um... We already know what he is carrying. We're gonna do truth spray. I never wanted to be a farmer. I always wanted to be a chocolatier. I would source my own ingredients and make the best, most delicious chocolate anyone had ever tasted. I would not have to dig or farm or fight scary monsters. But faces chocolate. There would not be anything scary about being a chocolatier, right? Nothing would be terrifying about that. Decoder ring? That's a good idea. I gotta use all my actions though. Um. Honestly, strictly because of the Quincy, you get in. I will let you in because of the Quincy. A haunted chocolatier? That, I think that's a reference to that. I really think it is. I think that's funny. Yeah, nice concerned ape reference. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it is. I'm under strict rules not to let any goblins in today, but I think you're harmless enough. You may pass. Well, thank you kindly. I will be on my way now. If I happen to stop by this way again, I will be sure to bring you some more crops from my farm. Free of charge. Well, no charge of money anyway. It might cost you a day or two. Everyone who eats my produce gets violently ill. <laughs> that sounds horrible. It is. So on. Interesting. I mean, yeah, what's the worst thing about? There was a clear no goblin rule and you let the shitty farmer in, but maybe you were following your heart. <laughs> Okay. And I appear! Thank you! Thank you! You see that rabbit under his hat? Wait a second, this doesn't look like a little kid's birthday party. Oh wait! There's one! Excuse me! Are you Becky Schneiderman? Is this your birthday party? I'm sitting in a hot shed all alone, which actually isn't as bad as some birthdays- which actually- which actually isn't as bad as some birthdays I've had. Then I'm in the right spot! I can't believe I found my way here, especially without my glasses. Okay. We are going to do a real quick little, um, little, little cheeky little, cheeky little x-ray here. Show me that rabbit. Lots of, lots, lots of stuff there you got. <laughs> Jail. So that's where Mr. Fluffy Bunny went. Guess I won't be getting the deposit back after all. Huh? Mention his glasses. There's a pair of glasses in your boot. My boot? We need to let entertainers through. Morale's been low. My glasses! You helped me find them. Thank you, thank you, thank you, little girl. Tell you what, on your next birthday, I'll perform for free. That's... Don't worry about it. Okay. Let's talk to Malcolm real quick. He killed a bunny. <laughs> a lame children's party magician. You have to let him in. Quick, ask him what card I'm thinking of. Uh, what card is Malcolm the Jester thinking of? Alakazoo, Alakazee? The Seven of Diamonds? Wrong. It was a birthday card, obviously. <laughs> Feliz cumpleaños, Becky. Maybe he's not as good as I think. Kill him. Or do whatever. I don't care. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Before you go, want to see an actual magic trick? Yes. Tell him to pull 
his socks up. Uh, we already found his glasses, but thanks for the tip. Ooh, you're getting good at this. Okay. Yeah, kill him. <laughs> Hang on, one more question. So, Becky the birthday girl, sit back, relax, and prepare to be amazed by me, the Edward the Great. Okay. Wait, wait, I'm not... Actually, I, actually, I want to see where this is going. Now, for my first trick, please pick a number between one and seven. Three. Was the number that you're thinking of the number six? N nope. What else do you do? Imagine if we chose six. His middle name is The, isn't it? All right, I'm going to let him through. Also because it kind of bugs Malcolm. I'm pretty sure he's harmless. Ever since I pulled a bouquet of flowers from my parents' garden shop out of my sleeve, I knew I wanted to be a magician. And you're making this dream come true for me. Cool. And now that I have my glasses, I should be able to find my way to the party no problem. Nice. Alakazoo, Alakazee, my magic career is saved. Nice. Hi, Marsh, and welcome in. Oh, good. Four stars. This magician had a booking to get to, and you can see that the sprawl means joy at a time like this, and you could see because you found his glasses. Good work. We got a poopy farmer and a poopy magician. Hello! I love it. You're loud. Hi. Hello. We would like to enter. I, I, I would like to enter the sprawl. Three please. goblins in a trench coat. Love it. Absolutely. And you are... Magnus the Magnificent! Renowned member of the... <laughs> jail! <laughs> All he's just like, jail! Surely you have heard of me! <laughs> you guys are so quick on this button. Hang on. We're we're gonna do the... 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 the metal detector. <laughs> we're sure that would turn up something. There must be- there must not be anything metal to detect. What business do you have in town today, Magnus? We thirst library, for jail. There is an incantation in Sir, uh... Uh... Bartholomew Inglebrook. Bartholomew Inglebrook's third treatise on the, um... Lunar Implications. Lunar implications for plant magic that becomes legible but twice a year. I must see it with my own eyes. There's nothing wrong with him. <laughs> okay. Are you all right? Oh, mercy, yes. Well, while this has been a refreshing opportunity for a uh, rich discourse with common folk, we really must be on our... Uh, I mean, I really must be on my way. Ha ha ha. Uh-huh. Okay, we got one more question. Uh, whip? Alright, we'll whip it. I think it's kind of rude, but we'll whip it. Ow! Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> What's the matter with you? <laughs> oh, heck, our cover is blown. Quick, let's cheese it. Please don't do this. We just wanted to see some friends. You're blowing this way out of proportion. Forget it, Gary. We're just a couple goblins in a human world. We're sorry. We're sorry. Oh, sh**. We're bugged. <laughs> okay. You were specifically instructed to apprehend and send goblins in the dungeon and failing to turn them away. And failing that, turn them away. I guess getting whipped... I guess, but I guess whipping them just gets the job done. You are a one sick puppy. <laughs> you guys are horrible. <laughs> Salutations to you, little sister of this big, beautiful world. My journeys across this land have brought me here to your doors. Okay. What a sweet fortune have in store for me today. That I do not know, but it's a hell of a ride. Let me tell you. Aha. Uh -huh. Truth serum. Oh, that 
that's a particularly potent blend right there. It's tasty, a little sweet, with just enough bitter finish to keep you coming back for more. <laughs> Aren't you going to tell me your deepest, darkest secrets now? Secrets way down the soul, little sister. I have no secrets. My life is an open book. Absolutely roasted. Well, you can tell something interesting anyway. I mean, I did spend an action point on the damn truth spray. Sure thing, kid. Let me tell you some history. After King Oswin died, it didn't take long for would-be successors to start lining up. Three in particular, a young, headstrong counselor, a battle-hardened lieutenant in the Guard Corps, and the court jester, although I don't know if anyone took him seriously or not. Okay. These <gasps> three have been battling for control of the sprawl for years now. But what about the princess? She's next in line. True, but at the time, she was just a kid. Now she's grown, but I fear that these outside forces are using <gasps> her as a pawn. This man knows what he's talking about. And knows. Where have you journeyed here from? You really want to know? Yeah. Yeah, tell me. Oh, I've been around for a spell. Always on the move. From the mountains north of Petrad, the Great Desert in the south of Marvog. Uh-huh. Along the crystal shores of Lake Inez, past the dread Castle Kaladar, and the quaint farmlands of Fireball Canyon. Ooh. I've wandered through all of these many, many times. But for my money, there's no place like the sprawl. People everywhere you look leading their busy lives. Every once in a while, stop to take in how beautiful He's chill, he can is. pass. Yeah, he can you pass. can't buy that, little sister. I like it. I like it. I trust you. You seem like a very easygoing dude. Well, my little dudette, life's been pretty good to me. Not as if someone peed on my rug. <laughs> Is that a common expression? It is where I come from. <laughs> Word on the street is Princess Desdemona has disappeared. Some say kidnapped. Some say run away. Kidnapped. Kidnapped. I think she was kidnapped. Whatever did happen, it has truly bummed me out. I've got more to say if you've got the ears to listen. Dang it. Let's hear it. Princess Desdemona is the living legacy of the great peace brought by her late father, King Oswin. And already the fires of war are being fanned on all sides. We're getting all the lore here. That's a very strange leaf. Uh, questioning. Do you really think war is on the horizon? Oh, yes. But then again, what do I know? Just an old wizard wandering from town to town looking for a little bit of joy to put in my pocket. But everyone I've met seems so happy. <laughs> you remind me of a younger version of myself, little sister. Maybe cooler heads will prevail, but history doesn't have many examples of that. Ooh. There's a lot of pressure to fill the void left by the death of King Oswin. Just keep your eyes open is all I'm saying. Okay, okay. All right, you chill. You chill. You go in. You go in, little brother. Old brother. You can go. I'm a leaf in the wind, little sister, and you are a gentle breeze guiding me along my way. <laughs> and there it is. I've reached my limit with you. <laughs> right you are. Hasta la vista, baby. <laughs> Three stars. Based on his reaction, he seemed fine with your decision. <laughs> we'll take it. We'll take it. Oh, it's another guard. Lil, you've got to close down the shed for the day and come with me immediately. Oh, gosh. What's happening? By now, you've heard that Princess Desdemona has disappeared, right? Yes. Good. Any other week, the royal advisors might have given her a day or two before sounding the alarm. But with the mucky mucks from Petrard and Marvog in town, we have to get her back before things around here get any worse. I hope nothing bad happened to her. What does any of this have to do with me? I asked my boss the same thing. In fact, I said, why the hell would they need that piece of... You know, that's not important now. Excuse me? 
do what you have to do to close up shop here, and then you're coming downtown to the city council chambers with me. I'm going to pull that lever to get you to jail. What the heck? Jail. I'll take it. It's over three stars. 20 gold. Butt face. <laughs> nice. Edward the Great Magician. Magnus the Magnificent. Echo the Wanderer. <laughs> I'll take it. I'll take it. We let the goblin in. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. I know, rude. What the heck? Hello? Is anyone there? Can somebody tell me why I've been summoned? Lilith, guardian of the Southern Gate. Step forward into the light. Okay. What is this? Who are you? Can somebody please tell me what exactly is going on here? Will, you have been chosen. This is a game show. To play the hit game that's sweeping the sprawl. That's right. It's Called time it. for... So you think you can save a princess. <laughs> <laughs> Good night, Kelba. We'll see ya. What the hell's going on? Uh, that's right, Lil. Today you're getting the chance to send one of these lucky adventurers on the escapade of a lifetime. Oh my to word. To search for and rescue your beloved Princess Desdemona. Oh no. I didn't ask to do this. And let's find out who those lucky adventurers are. Okay. Adventurer number one is a hard-headed, go-getting warrior from the desert plains of the alluring Marvog Empire. Please welcome Neil Warkiller. Neil Warkiller. Neil. Everybody applause for Neil. Everybody applause for Neil. Okay, okay. Adventurer number two is a nomad by nature, mage by profession, who likes the rain and getting caught in a pina colada. It's Articulous <laughs> Flame Hand. Okay, okay. Articulous Flame Hand. Nice, nice. And finally, adventurer number three. You might recognize this thief from their wanted poster. Wanted dead or alive for looking so darn good. Let's hear it for Perry Shoutsen. Perry Shoutsen. Cat, 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 cat. I don't. I still don't fully understand what's happening. And no heroic voyager would be complete without a shadowy figure pulling the strings from the darkness. Ooh, I wonder who they are. So let's welcome our sponsors, Lieutenant Striker, Councilwoman Ash, and Court Jester Malcolm. I'm rooting for you. Might makes right. Focus, and the day will be out. <laughs> the the half-hearted claps. Aim for the knees and bite, bite, bite. Now, Lil, you're going to get the chance to ask these adventurers a series of questions to determine their suitability for this quest. Okay. At the end of the third round, you choose the winner of the grand prize, being sent on a perilous mission to save the princess, a few guaranteed brushes with death, and a coupon for an all-you-can-eat dining experience at Monty's, home of the soup. Home of the soup? Honestly, all-you-can-eat soup? Ooh. Hmm, <laughs> dad does love Monty's. Let's do this. Round one. All right, Lil, what would you like to ask our trio of intrepid would-be heroes? Intrepid would-be heroes. Um. I really want to ask this one favorite ice cream. Uh, the soup, you're right. He <laughs> did he say the soup? Perfect rescue. What's your idea of a perfect rescue? And who would you like to ask? Um gonna ask Neil the war killer let's not reinvent the wheel here the easiest and fastest way to get the job done is simple smash and grab what's simpler than that I smack the baddies in their dumb faces throw the princess over my shoulder and hey presto rescued boom done boom done you can ask another adventurer if you like what do you think articulus it begins with me vaporizing a few low-level lackeys on the type. Uh, then we build to a dramatic face-off with a superior villain. 
lightning flashes, mythical beasts are summoned and dispatched, all the fireworks come out. I cast a transfiguration spell, turning our would-be kidnapper into a small cricket. Or a mouse, or anything really. It just has to be small, so I can keep it with me as a reminder of my awesome powers. Huh. Round two. Boo! Yeah, too and much to go second wrong. Second question is. Second question. Perfect first date. Let's say you save the princess and she falls in love with you. What's your ideal first date? And who's that one for? Um, Perry Shoutson. Here we go. We break into the Museum of Modern History here in the Sprawl. The security's a joke. We steal the crown and scepter of King Oswin that's housed there. We split the profits 50-50, shake hands, and go our separate ways. What a date. Huh. You can ask another adventurer if you like. All right, Neil, what would you do perfect Easy. date? We engage in feats of strength, combat without weaponry, using only our bodies, one against the other. And as we begin to sweat. Okay, I think we're done here. The Highland Doer will come in. <laughs> that answer unearthed the full extent of your incompetence. I was ready to vow the child with mine. Let's stick to the format, folks. There's a rich tradition we're preserving here. Oh. Please, wait your turn. Hmm. A warrior does not wait his or her turn. He or she acts. <laughs> All right, Neil, calm down now. Hmm. Hmm. You are gaslighting me and the berserker spirits of my ancestors, my uh -oh. boy. Uh, Looks like the warrior has entered the heightened state of berserker mode. Ooh. Lil, which contestant do you think will be able to get us out of this dilly of a pickle? Uh, Perry, uh, the, uh, the mage. Neil, uh, keep it together for just a few more seconds. You, what's your favorite animal? Uh, the, 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 the uh, a squirrel. Neil. Look at this little fella. <sighs> I, I, I feel the blood rage calming. I can't murder everyone present in front of something so small and perfect. I am calm. Okay, I was thinking to send Neil, but now oh, I'm having second thoughts. I'm glad you didn't pick anything larger than a bread box. I'm not licensed for that. Due to that Ooh. unscheduled outburst, we are a little tight for time. Well, <laughs> do we squeeze in one more round, or are you feeling ready to choose? One more question. Uh, one more round. I think I've got one more round in me. Round three. Perry. Lil. At least he's honest. Final question going to be. Um, plans after the rescue. What are your plans after you rescue the princess? And you're asking. Uh, let's ask Articulus. This rescue will be incredibly high profile, and I hope to use it as a springboard to a placement on the High Council of the Mages Guild. Ugh. From there, mm, the sky's the limits. Well, two four-year terms followed by a lifetime pension is the limit, but still, <laughs> not too Honestly, at least he's honest. You can ask another adventurer if you want. All right, Perry. Are you kidding me? I make this gig and I'm set for life. Rescuing the soul heir to the whole freaking sprawl? Insta retired, baby. I like it. I like I'm it. Sipping pina coladas on the crystal shores of Lake Inez before you can say, Would you like a curly straw for that pina colada, sir? Oh, I love pina coladas. They mentioned it in my introduction. Then the first round's on me. I picked his pocket earlier. Honestly, I think Perry could do it. Uh oh. You know what that means! I have no idea what that means. This is so stupid. You're yeah. stupid! <laughs> that sound means it's time for the lightning round! Oh! Lightning round! Wild applause! Lil, please choose the adventure that you'd like to see play the lightning round. Alright, Perry, let's see what you got. Alright, Perry, are you ready for the lightning round? I am! Oh, crap. 
Oh, too bad. Looks like that wasn't as enlightening as we'd hoped. Wait, what? <laughs> hey! <laughs> no! <laughs> what is it? We can't use the time machine outside the shed, and we can't go back! <laughs> uh oh, you know what that Oh, that's means. so funny. That's so good. Not again, my conscience can't take more of this. That sound means we are out of time! Alright, Lil, now to a moment of truth. Who do you want to choose to rescue Princess Desdemona? Oh my word, that's amazing. Uh, wait, we can ask them to do it? Striker. Don't overthink this. My hero is by far the strongest oh. and the most experienced in battle. A natural choice to save our dear princess. My mage can heal a wound with a word, or smash through a rock wall with a wave of his wrist. Don't overthink it, Lil. Make the right choice. Malcolm? Thanks to you, my player's <laughs> off the board and into a dustbin. There won't be any Yahtzee, Connect Four, or Kerplunk for me today. You used to be cool. Oh, I'm sorry. I. Which one do you guys want? Do you want the warrior or the mage? I will, I'll blame you this time. You guys get to choose. <laughs> Hang on. Let me let me make a poll. I'm gonna I'm gonna create a poll here real quick. I'm gonna create a poll. Poll. Uh, choose warrior or mage. No additional votes. I'll let you guys. You guys got one minute. Start the poll. All right, the poll should be at the top. Go ahead and choose. Uh, I strongly, I strongly dislike both of them too. I was not expecting the lightning round, though I should have been. Understanding the context of the game, it makes more sense. But. Oh my god, can we choose the pile of ashes? It's not gonna let me, otherwise I kinda would. <laughs> the war is from the same place as the barbarian princess. That's true, that is true. That is true. He just wanted the money, he was honest. He was gonna take it, probably be the most successful and win it. Okay, it looks like the warrior it is. I'm, I'm down for that. I'm down for that, I think that's a good choice. <laughs> that is so funny though. I love it. I love it. I appreciate y'all. Thanks for it. <laughs> oh goodness. Alright, warrior it is. Warrior it is. Are you sure? Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, humans and otherwise, the winner of So You Think You Can Save a Princess and proud owner of an all-you-can-eat dining experience at Monty's Home of the Soup. Home of the Soup? Is... Neil Warkiller, the warrior. This pleases me. I am pleased. And that's all for us here today. Please help control the pack population. Have your gargoyle spayed or neutered. So long, everybody. Okay. Do we get it? We better get a pay raise. This displeases me. I am displeased. <laughs> then I had to choose who the heck was going to rescue Christmas Desdemona. It's the craziest thing. And don't even get me started on the lightning round. <laughs> you have the most vivid imagination, Lil. Why doesn't anybody believe me about these things? Can't talk, Lil. Pretending to wipe the counter while I eavesdrop on the prince and the praetor over there. Can't talk. Pretending to cook while I spy on that hunk of hunk of fine piece of wizard over there. <laughs> Understandable. Understandable. 
Salutations to you, little sister of this big, beautiful world. My journeys across this land have brought me here. I know. We met. At the gate. Whoa. I completely forgot. Gotta go easy on the Peace Blossom. Anywho, what did peace you want to talk about? Um... Tell me about Stryker. What do you know about Lieutenant Stryker? Stryker has always lived in a world of black and white. There's good and evil and nothing in between. Stryker's voice sounds familiar. Someone said, like, is that asked if that was Marisha Ray? It's possible. I haven't checked. I haven't checked, though. I'm not sure. If you're good in Stryker's eyes, you get nothing. Left to fend for yourself, but free. But if you're bad, the hammer of the law is swift and brutal. Small offenses come attached to massive mandatory minimum punishments. You've heard of three strikes and you're out? As far as Stryker's concerned, it's two strikes. The strike you make and the strike she makes. Anything else you want to know about? Tell me about Ash. What do you know about Councilwoman Ash? Back when I knew Ash, she was already bitter, jaded, and afraid of anything she didn't understand. A true protectionist, looking to keep everyone in their own little box. Okay. If she had her way, nothing would ever change or grow, and eventually we would all look, dress, and think exactly the same way. Anything else you want to know about? Tell me about Malcolm. What do you know about Malcolm? I have no idea what Malcolm's end goal is, and honestly, I don't think he knows either. I think if he had his way, there'd be no rules, no laws, no little guardsmen at the gate. Just let the whole place run itself. Huh. This dog-eat-dog -dog mentality would work for some, and for others, things could get a whole lot worse. He doesn't care about people. Doesn't care if they're good or bad. Our greatest strength is how we work together. Under Malcolm, we would never reach anything near our collective potential. Anything else you want to know about? I like this man. He he know he knows what he's talking about. Tell me about King Oswin. After King Oswin died, it didn't take long for would-be successors to start lining up. Three in particular, a young, headstrong. Yeah, he told us about this. I don't know if anyone took him seriously or not. Okay, he told us about that. Okay, we, all, we talked about this already. Anything else you want? No, we already talked about the war. Okay, this is probably the same thing. Mark my words, little sister. The sulfur mines in Petrad have not been this busy in a generation, filling the air with smoke as they produce gunpowder and explosives. And the Marvog are sharpening their knives. How many ballets can there be? With a predator already established, this looks like training to me. Even here in the sprawl, the power vacuum of King Oswin's death has everyone jockeying for position, threatening the internal balance of the entire kingdom. Okay. But then again, what do I know? Just an old wizard wandering from town. Okay, so you told me. Anything else you want? Thanks, buddy. This hat, it is not as fantastic as my previous hat. My journey, it continues. He will have a fantastic hat. This YouTube video of the cast of the game, Striker is played by Brianna Templeton. Gotcha. Cool, 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 cool. Wonder if Buttface is there somewhere? Maybe. <sighs> Blinks and says nothing. <sighs> Blinks and says nothing. Is everything okay, Beverly? No, Lil. No, everything is not okay, Beverly. My dear true love, Princess Desdemona... Just to recap, this is the dear true love that you never met, but one time you both happened to be at the Goblin Ball Stadium. You phrased that so beautifully. Yes, that same she. What about her, Bev? When I'd heard she'd vanished, I tried to get on So You Think You Can Save a Princess, <laughs> but none of the advisors wanted me as their champion. <laughs> Beverly, you're a janitor at the Goblin Ball Stadium. Maybe you're right. Maybe a guy like me can't be the hero in my own life story. Mom always said I lacked that main character energy. Tell me what to do. <laughs> Dang, Mom. Should I return to my job or go off to rescue my darling love? Honestly, he... risk it for the biscuit. Go on, Beverly. 
Go on, go go do it. Risk it for the biscuit. What biscuit? It's a metaphorical biscuit. In this case, the biscuit is the princess. And you think I should risk what exactly? Risk your l <laughs> I have regrets. <laughs> <laughs> this game is so unhinged. I love it. Risk your life! Risk your life, Beverly. Without Princess Desdemona, my life has no meaning anyway. That's so... so sad. I indeed. And thus, I will be off to find my destiny. I Thank love you. this game Forever. so much. <laughs> Don't mention it. This game is so good. Oh my gosh. I love it. I thought they were flirting. Pathetic, weak coward. You should do the honorable thing and let me kill you. Yeah. Oh, you would just love that, wouldn't you? <laughs> yes, I would. Oh? I would like to commend you on your choice. Bev's gonna of die. The princess is as good as rescued. <laughs> on behalf of the kingdom of Petrard, I vehemently disagree. You had the chance to send a cunning rogue, but instead you chose a big, dumb warrior. Ooh. She made the right choice. The Marvog Empire supports her. <laughs> the kingdom of Petrard would grudgingly accept an apology for your actions. <laughs> Double down! That big dumb warrior is the right person for the job. My concern is the safe return of Christmas, Desdemona, not pleasing you. But put that in your pipe and smoke it. Oh, why, I never. <laughs> I won't forget this. What he said. Okay, we're gonna go outside because we remember, um... I don't want to make anything worse than they already are. I'll leave them be. We're gonna go outside, um... And try to see if we can find that crystal that fell out of his pocket. Risk it for the biscuit. Okay, is it over here somewhere? Hmm. <laughs> nope. I wonder if we missed it. Huh. I don't see it. Oh well. Hi, Garby! You've been at this a while! You should have enough cash by now to power up your arsenal. Take a look. Let's see what we got. We have 30 bucks. Bye, Garby. <laughs> we got nothing. Biscuits and gravy? Oh, I would love some biscuits and gravy. All right. Time for the veg. Oop, there's a little mouse. Wait, hang on. Can we head out? I don't really have anywhere to be. Okay, so we're good. We're good. Oh, click. Hit the hay. Having discovered the hidden message, Great Uncle Jerry's will, Buttface ditched his cart of wilted produce and set out to pursue his dream. With the money he made off of the sale of his farm, he bought an old castle with a snowy little village in the mountains. There, he set up his chocolate shop. Yep, that's totally a, uh, a concerned ape reference. I love that. I love that. After months of painstakingly collecting ingredients and mastering intricate recipes, he unfortunately discovered that nobody that the castle he purchased was extremely haunted. Nobody in town believed his plea for help dealing with spirits and phantoms. In fact, the town doctor had him declared insane and carted him off to a sanitarium, which, as it happened, was located in a different haunted castle. The children of that snowy little town still tell the tale of the goblin in the castle, who smelled of moldy radishes. Thus ends Buttface's tale. Edward the Great eventually arrived at Becky Schneiderman's birthday celebration. He hit the ground running and with his tried and tested routine, he opened with the pick a card, moved into is that your handkerchief, and ended strong with the classic how many eggs do you have in your pocket trick. Unfortunately, none of these impressed any of the preteen partygoers, which the Edward was clearly could clearly see now that he had his glasses. 
After his performance, the Edward enjoyed a piece of vanilla cake and awkwardly waited for Mr. Schneiderman to settle his payment. With a check in his pocket, the Edward went straight to his parents' garden shop to boast of his success. Unfortunately, the, Ed the, the Edward's parents didn't consider a check of 37 gold, 40 before he deducted the price of a piece of van vanilla cake, to be much of a success. They were very disappointed in their son's career choice, which the Edward could clearly see because of his glasses. Denied entry, Magnus the Magnificent went in search of another castle gate to gain entry so he could still attend the reading of the incantation of the lunar implications from plant magic in Sir Bartholomew, Th Bartholomew Inglebrook's third treatise. This had never happened to him before. He, a once great wizard of such renown, reduced to gate hopping. Once people would have tossed flowers at his feet while cheering his name in admiration for his heroic acts in the great mage magic wars of the late 600s. But who remembers that these days? Now he's just some old wizard, which bothered him. That, and the fact that Magnus the Magnificent was just a fictional character created by two goblins named Gary and Julian, pulling up the old two goblins in a trench coat griff to enter the sprawl to attend a secret rally for the underground rebellion group known as the Goblin Liberation Army. Sure, he was still a prominent member of the guild, but he was going to need more than magic plant lunar implications to get himself immortalized in the Hall of Great Wizardly Stuff, or so their backstory went. After stopping in at the Twisted Sister for the glass in his triple tipple of choice, Echo proceeded to head down to the Pinheads, the local bowling club in the sprawl where his team was playing for League Night. Thanks to the calming effects of his particularly potent Peace Blossom, he was unstoppable, bowling a perfect 300. His team went on to win the league and a commemorative photo was put up on the wall at Pinheads to celebrate Echo's perfect game. After winning So You Think You Can Save a Princess, Neil Will Warkiller ran in a berserk state of rage in a direction he hoped the princess was in. After a day and a half of his ceaseless frenzied running, Neil arrived at the bandit's castle where they were holding fair Princess Desdemona captive. There was no mat they were no match for the enraged warrior and were mercilessly slain. But when Neil's berserker raid subsided, he discovered that Princess Desmodona was not being held in that castle, and that castle was actually a quaint country farmer's market populated by elderly locals. Oh well, maybe your princess is in another farmer's market. Articulous Flame Hands. Having lost So You Think You Can Save a Princess, Articulous Flame Hands returned to his tower and his pile of unpaid bills. Not going to lie, Articulous really needed this gig. The reward for saving a member of the royal family would have settled the lion's share of his debts, not to mention the money he would save with all that free soup from Monty's. Perry Shoutson, the margarita-loving ma master thief turned pile of dust, was swept into a dustpan, then tossed out of the window. Oh sevens. <laughs> no. <laughs> Lil, rise and shine. Oh my goodness. Oh, can't even get a proper burial. Imagine. That's so rough. Okay. I want to end here. I think this is where we're going to end. Level 1, level 2, level 3. How many levels are there? There's 12 levels. So, okay, we will come back to this game. But I think this is where we're going to be ended, ended here. That is so funny. That is so funny. Okay, we are going... We'll do a bulk of it um, in a future stream. Maybe we'll play this um, maybe tomorrow. Or Tuesday, honestly, before Baldur's Gate. Because I really want to finish this game. I think we will definitely finish this game. This is a really, really good one. And with that, I go to bed. Good night, Prime. Good night, sleep well. This was really, really fun. I think this game has a lot of potential. And I think... I, I mean, I love it so far. I think this is really, really fun. Um, We will save. We will, yep, go ahead. That's really, really cute. Thank you for being here, friends. I appreciate it. We're going to go on a raid. We're going to go and um, find someone to go say hi to. But thank you so much for joining me tonight. This was so much fun. I hope you guys had fun in, uh, checking out um, Little Guardsman. Uh, let's see. Let's go say hi to... Is McDoodle still alive? McDoodle is live. We're going to go say hi to McDoodle. McDoodle's doing a big old stream. She's a music streamer. She might be front page right now, which is why her numbers are so high. But that's okay. We love McDoodle. McDoodle is super chill. She's going to take care of you guys. She is a saxophonist, a singer, um, and just all good vibes around. 
So have a wonderful night. Good night, Leah. Thank you for being here. I appreciate it. Thank you, Norse Raven. Have a good night. I hope you guys had fun. I'm glad you guys were here to, to hang out and whatever this was. But have a good night. Take care of yourself. Be kind to yourself. And be safe out there. We'll see you guys.